Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Krellen, Schmelzer. How are you doing? Uh, good morning. Hi, I'm Trooper SJP, and this is the Academic Foxhole. And uh, it is a Saturday, and uh, we're going to do the stuff. We're, we have a lot of, uh, you know, we've got stuff. we got stuff. How's it going? Um, hey, Verum, Atomica, Scabinac. Hi, everybody. I live. Um, I am so excited about stuff. Uh, what what I'm not excited about is that uh, apparently there's an update going on um, and wait what is this doing here oh I think I know what this is doing here okay that's fine that's fine um, oh, 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 Atomica sorry it was on this side not that side normally I, I keep my megaphone on that side but you know I just I didn't uh, so uh, so Thank you for those bits, Atomica. Uh, since we have gotten it started, I am going to sing for you uh, We're in the Money, uh, as sung by Ginger Rogers in the film Gold Diggers of 1933, which means I'm singing it in Pig Latin. And then I've got something else I have to tell you. It's important, and I won't forget. Um, <laughs> welcome to, welcome all to No Game Saturday. No, I'm totally playing. I mean, I can't technically play right now because um, the PS play, the PS4 is updating. You know, it's like it's doing a whole update thing for the application. So you know, I have to just talk to you first. You know, I mean, you know, you know how that is. Um, so I was gonna tell you. Oh, I just remembered that I might need to tell you something else as well about next week. Uh, and oh, I do, but you don't. You won't know about it yet because of the way they do their thing. I've got a thing you won't know about it yet, but you'll find out about it. But the point is, the most important point is, of all the important points that could happen, it would be... Name game. Uh, oh! Oh! Uh, time of gifts. Uh, time of gifts. Uh, I see you. Okay. First, we're in the money. Airway and hey the anime. Airway and hey the anime. Eve way at gale at way of way at 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 way and we and we we see the end the order will look left the eye get right in the, the eye we're in the money we're in the money we've got a lot of what it takes to get along i love that i love that so much but uh time of gifts it is apparently the time of gifts and the time of gifts being that is the time of gifts has given gifts in this time and those gifts are not gifts or gifs or gifs. Uh, they're, they're, they're subs. And so I, I want to uh, thank you, Time of Gifts, for the subs. Uh, but you know what this means. This means the name game. Come on, everybody. Mm -mm. I said, now let's play a game. I bet you I can make a rhyme out of anybody's name. The first letter of the name. Mm, mm, I treat it like it wasn't there. Mm, mm, and then a B or an F. Mm, mm, or an M will appear. And then I say Bo out of B. Then I say the name. Then banana fan or info. And then I say the name again with an F. Very plain. Then a fee. Fire and a mo, and then I say the name again with an M this time, and there isn't any name that I can't rhyme. Mm, 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 mm. Eldritch alligator, Eldritch alligator, Eldritch alligator, Bo Eldritch alligator, banana fan for Eldritch alligator, fee five more Eldritch alligator, Eldritch alligator. Mm, mm, mm. Miss mm. Dunsale, Miss Dunsale, Mrs. Dunsale, Bo Mrs. Dunsale, banana fan for Mrs. Dunsale, fee five more Mrs. Dunsale. No, I have to redo that. Oh my gosh, wait, I have to redo that name because I didn't tell you the extra rules. 
If the first two letters are ever the same, I drop them both then say the name I like Bob. Bob drop the B's bow, Ab or Fred. Fred drop the F's for Red or Mary Mary drop the M's Mo Airy. That's the only rule that is contrary. Mrs. Dunsale, Mrs. Dunsale, Mrs. Dunsale, but Mrs. Dunsale, banana fan of Mrs. Dunsale, fee five more, Mrs. Dunsale, Mrs. Dunsale. Nisi, 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 Bobisi, Banana, Fana, Fofisi, Fifa, Momisi, Nisi, mm, 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 mm. Shavai, 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 Boba Vai, Banana, Fana, Fofavai, Fifa, Momavai, Shavai, mm, 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 mm. Neutromancer, 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 Bobutromancer, Banana, Fana, Fofutromancer, Fifa, Momutromancer, Neutromancer, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Yeah, Futromancer, that is great. Hey, Baron Tor, Javai, you're welcome. Secrets, oh my gosh, secrets. Hey, everybody, hey. Hi, hi, everybody. Uh, have you, ha, huh, you almost said feces, almost. I almost did, but then I didn't look. So here's the thing, I have to tell you all something, right? There are things that I have to tell you. Also, hey everybody, hi, it's good to see you all. I hope you're all doing well. You know, I, there are things that I don't understand about my life. I mean, I mean, I understand about my life. You know, like it's not that I'm not confused about my life. I, I know what's going on. It's just that uh, there's a thing that's happening with the Stream Deck that is not, Stream Deck was being a little bit weird last night and uh, I don't know why that it was being a little weird. But it was, so I'm gonna just, because here's the thing, there's a thing I wanted to, I, there's a thing, it's important. There's a thing that I wanted to tell you all. It's it's a thing, it's all I'm saying. And um, let's see what happens if I do this. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do this. And then let's do that. Fixed. All right, let's see. File has been up downloaded. Do you want to update it? Yes, I do. I want to update now. I have to update now because... Okay. All right. N no, it's installing the update. So uh, right now, I know that you want me to jump right into the game. I know that's what you want, but I, I have some, you know, file uploading things to do first. You know, that's just how that is. Uh, Tomic says, so Trooper, I torched myself in the name of testing how I would approach my thesis. Oh, uh, you could say more about that. <laughs> Sal says, a little bit weird last night is the title of my memoirs detailing my naval service. I feel like that's a, a great, a great title and I like it. Um, hi everybody, how are you doing? Look, I am very excited. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff and I feel like this is gonna be not what I want it to be real soon. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna quit out of PS4 Remote Play for a second because I don't want that audio happening when I do the other thing. Um, Trooper, what were all the things you wanted to tell at 3M last night? Ugh. Um, I'm doing well. Uh, Eldritch Alligator asks at how I'm doing. I'm doing well. Um, and I will tell you that in more detail in a moment. Uh, but Rissa wanted to know what I wanted to tell you about 3 a.m. And, uh, you know, it's probably a lot of stuff. But who can say? Um, so I have to tell you something first. I hunger. Ooh. Uh, okay, Sal just said, I hunger, Trooper. Please send donuts. I wish I could send you donuts because I... I love donuts. But, Sal, do you remember, or anybody in chat, really, do you remember the arcade game Sinistar? Uh, because Sinistar was a, it was a, it was a back in the day arcade game and it was a pretty... I know, and I should just write these things down. Mm -hmm. If I don't write things down, I will... They will go out of my mind, and so I need to remember to do that. <laughs> I need to remember to write write things down. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Sinistar was an arcade game from the '80s, and it was like um, 
I think actually Sinistar is pretty early. Maybe it wasn't. It feels like it was like when I remember Sinistar, I remember it being so advanced and like high tech. But it was one of those ones that was kind of like, um, I suppose it was sort of like Asteroids, but a way more high tech version, but it was still the 80s. So, you know, how how high tech is it really going to be? Um, but uh, you were like, you know, a little ship in the center of the screen and like you're like flying around. And what you had to do was like uh, shoot asteroids. And if you shot the asteroids, little crystals would come out and you need to collect the crystals. And once you get like a full complement of crystals, then you can get these special bombs, which you can use to uh, kill Sinistar when Sinistar wakes up. And Sinistar is like a, a hibernating space bad guy of some sort that's like a head little head disc thing flying around and then like if you don't have those bombs it's gonna be really bad for you but when Sinistar wakes up you hear this audio that goes I hunger and like it was so cool to hear like actual audio in an arcade video game because you know uh, video games didn't really have like a lot of voice stuff going on so it was like oh so high tech like you can hear a voice that sounds like an actual voice um, yes I'm just saying I spent like get a dictaphone um, and Baron Tor's like, yes, Sinister, I'm glad that somebody knows what I'm talking about. Um, Scabby Neck had to get 20 miles away to a mall to see an arcade machine. I'm so sorry, Scabby Neck. We had one in our 7-Eleven. Um, Atomic says, I challenged a buddy of mine to pick a movie from 70 to 99, but it had to be a so bad it's good guilty pleasure movie. And oh my God, he chose blank check. And so I'm working on a review of it with notes and such to try and see whether it would fit as a diamond in the rough movie in a so bad it's good way. Oh, interesting. I want to hear it. I want to see how that goes. Um, Eldritch Alligator says, I feel like I might have heard the name mentioned before, but nothing beyond that. Yeah, it was like Sinistar. Uh, Sal says, I recall Sinistar being a thing, but it was before my time. I do remember, really remember the Aerosmith Music Is Your Weapon game and also t -Mick. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, Revolution X. I used to play that with my dad. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sinistar was more complex asteroids with a point beyond survival. Yeah, right? And it was like, but it had voice in it. And I just want to remind you all that I'm talking about how like amazing it was that video games had, uh, that an, 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 arcade video, an arcade video game had one little voice clip in it. Just one. And we now live in the future where video games are like, wow, I'm just very excited about this. Um, Technique's a smartphone. So no, there is an app for that. Where did I put my smartphone? I, I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. Um, Sinistar was in Aladdin's castle, Aladdin's castle, the arcades that were in our in all our malls. Oh, there was another one in one of the grocery stores. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's get to the important point. It's not the important point. It's an important point. It might not even be important. Don't even worry about it. Forget I said anything. Uh, did you ever encounter a Vectrex system? I didn't. I didn't. Mm -mm. The kid from Blank Check was a recur was a recurring character on Star Trek TNG. Really? Oh, Alexander Roshenko. Huh. Huh. Uh, then all those FMV style arcade games came out with the old animation like Dragon's Lair. Oh, Dragon's Lair. Oh man, Baron Tor, why'd you have to bring up Dragon's Lair? Do you know that was my bane? Dragon's Lair was like... <sighs> so here's the thing about Dragon's Lair. Uh, Dragon's Lair was like twice as expensive as all the other arcade games. It was like 50 cents a play rather than 25 cents a play. And it always looked so cool and it was so awesome. Like, who wouldn't want to play Dragon's Air? But it was like twice the cost and like 50 cents was a lot of money. And I put my quarters in and I played it and like I died immediately. Like, I, I died immediately. Like, I could just not get the timing right because, because, the, because of the computer animation, the, uh, the graphics, it was like really un like it was it, it was based it felt to me like using modern day language a bunch of quick time events but they didn't tell you what they were or when you were doing it and, and I remember just trying to figure out how to do it and I would just die like almost immediately and I was like you know what uh, I could probably learn this like I could probably learn the timing for all this over time but it's 50 cents a pop and so I was like I could play for like three minutes for 50 cents on a game that I'm not getting yet, or I could just go and play regular Mario Brothers or Tron or Paperboy or Frogger or uh, Spy Hunter and be uh, have much more game time. That's, that's, yeah. Crown's like Dragon's Lair was everyone's bane. Oh, thank you. Okay, at least I'm not the only one. I, 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 you know, at the time, I felt like I was the only one who was having troubles with that dang video game, by the way. 
Oh, the Vectrex. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. GE and Milton Bradley. No, I didn't have a Vectrex. I had a Coleco Vision. Oh, wow. Oh. Hey, Vectrex, how are you doing? Well, how interesting is that? Now I just want to... Also, why do I have World War II research on this browser? World War II research should not be on this browser, but apparently it is. Uh, no, no, I, I, will, I will get there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was... Uh, yeah, I always died in Dragon's Lair. Baron Trust says, Dragon's Lair was stupid hard to eat your money. Like, yeah, and like it was just... But it, it, yeah, but it... Baron Trust like, but it looked awesome. It looked so amazing. And I remember just trying to get that timing down. I couldn't do it. Um, Atomica says, you know what the trick of Dragon's Lair? Don Bluth's animation was so good you forgot you were playing a game instead of watching a movie and got caught off guard by the events. I think that was probably one of the things. And I think it was also unclear to me, I think Atomica, it was also unclear to me when you were in a movie and when you were in the game. And like that doesn't happen to me often. And like I think they're better at signaling when when the cutscene is over, but it wasn't it wasn't very clear at the time. Um Scabby neck. The game was so well animated, but when playing, you couldn't even look at the screen, just at the bit at the bottom where the control options popped up. Oh, Scabby neck, that, that might have been my problem because I was um, looking at the, not the control, I wasn't looking at the bottom, I was looking at the screen, and that sounds like uh, that was probably the problem. Yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, sounds like you just had to get good. No, no, I think you're right. It's just that I didn't want to spend 50 cents on gameplay because like 50 cents is a whole lot of money. Like, I mean, I mean let's think about this, right? Um, I would usually get uh, maybe, like my parents, like my people to get like maybe a dollar or two dollars to play video games. Like I really wouldn't have more than a dollar or two to play video games. So it's like four, it's like between four and eight quarters and four and eight quarters can get you a lot on Spy Hunter, but it cannot get you a lot on Dragon's Lair. If the, if the, like, and most of my arcades, and the thing is most of my local, most of the local places where I would get, um, where I'd play video games didn't have it, right? Most of the, like we, I, the, I played video games, like there was like an arcade. We had a, we had an arcade all the way down at the pier. Like I grew up in San Francisco, right? And so I lived in the outer Richmond, which is like on the way out, 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 uh, far west of the city. It's like really close to the Pacific Ocean. And then uh, Pier 30, Pier 39, Pier 39, Pier 39. Pier 39 was this big tourist place that was on the way, way, way other side of the city. You had to take a bus all the way across town to get there. And they had a big arcade and like that arcade would have like Dragon's Lair. It was like massive, it would have all the stuff. But locally I had a 7-Eleven that had three video games at a time. And then there was a, a small ice cream shop it wasn't an ice cream shop, I just lied to you, I'm sorry, it was a shaved ice shop, and I wish I, that place existed, because it was like a Hawaiian shaved ice, and it was so delicious, and they had three video games. So basically, it was a very limited, uh, and the the uh, the shaved ice place had three video games, but they never rotated them out. It was always the same three, and it was Tron, Mario Brothers, and Robotron, I think it was. Like the one where, the dual stick one, where it looks like a brain, and then the 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 7-Eleven would, would rotate them out. They almost always had Pac-Man. Um, Baron was like Spy Hunter. That was like, oh, Spy Hunter was great because it had the best music. Hey, Barking Darrow says today I thought of a color that doesn't exist, but then I realized it was just a pigment of my imagination. So um, I just want you to know that I love that uh, Barking Darrow. That is that is delicious. Uh, I love that, but it does make me wonder about colors exist. Like not to get like weird about it because there's a theory. I cannot confirm it. Uh, some people who are not me have a theory that ancient folks in the ancient world, I should ask Prax what she thinks about this, in the ancient world couldn't see the color blue. That they didn't, they, they're, that they, they were not able to distinguish blue from, yeah, that they couldn't see, that the, basically the ancient people couldn't see the color blue. And the reason why they think this is because they've done like, it was like, I don't, I don't know, they did all this like research on ancient, ancient texts, uh, especially like, like we're looking at like Greek, right, that kind of a thing. And, and this, the, uh, like ancient Greece, yeah, and that the, um, uh, the, every time they describe the things that we would call blue, they, like they, um, so like with the ocean, they always, it's always described as being wine, like wine colored. Um, and so 
that they describe the ocean as wine colored um, or the sky. Like, it's always like something that's not what we would think of as blue the way they describe it. And so there's some people who, people who think that uh, that maybe in the ancient ancient times, they didn't see the color blue and that we developed the ability to see the color blue later. I don't even know if that's true, but that was a thing that, I, that I'd that i heard. So that was like some kind of, a, it's a theory, it's a speculation. And I was like, well, that's interesting. I don't know if it's true. I mean, it may not be true. Uh, it might be true. It might not be true. I don't know, but it's interesting to think about. I think it's interesting to think about. Um, it sounds like Dragon's Bane was early Dark Souls. I think it was, yes. Uh, the gaming elders are talking about gaming elder things, so all of us gaming lessers so now about their feet. No, 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 Sal, we're just telling you how it was bad. That's all. It was like, you, you have not, you did not miss anything. Uh, I remember my uncle let his boys play arcade games and my mom was all, no, we had a family gathering on a, well. Uh, not even when you're looking at the bottom. <laughs> the timing was so tight with zero warning, the game was meant to be, okay. So then it wasn't just me, okay. Uh, ugh, I didn't miss the games are for boys. You know what's really interesting, Atomica? Actually, this is really interesting. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but you probably did, that actually the early arcade games were not marketed to boys only. Uh, in the early arcade times, it was not games are for boys. Um, that was not how, like, if you look at early, early advertisements for video games, they're boys and girls equally represented. What ended up happening is that when the crash happened, um, that's when... Um, that's when they shifted their marketing. So like the early, early video games, well, if you really, if you really want to, if you really want to be very correct, early, 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 early video games are marketed towards adults. Um, there was like, I remember, don't ask me how I know this, but I do know this, that if you'd go into bars, uh, they'd have those um, table, uh, the video games that were basically tables. You know, it's like a, like you could sit on one end, you'd sit on the other, there's Pac-Man with a little controller under a, like a plexiglass top so you could put your beer or whatever on there, drink your beer, have your peanuts, smoke your cigarettes because people were smoking back then and you play your video games. So like uh, early, early, early video games were not marketed at small kids because who could afford them? And then they were marketed at uh, people of all genders equally. And then the video game crash happened sometime in the mid eighties. And then that's when they changed all their marketing to be boys only, which, you know, my parents was like, I, I got $2 usually for at the mall. Only 50 cents at the grocery. Yeah, that's about, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Atomica says, my best sniper ever spotted uh, for in Rust was female, and she was a force of destruction. Yes. Oh, thanks, Cher. It's my my Madonna rebel heart. It was a good, that was a good, good tour. Baron Tour says, there was a young woman who was a few years older than me, and if you saw her at any of the three Miss Pac-Man games in our town, you just give up playing since she was pretty pro. Oh, <sighs> I do remember that. I also remember how when somebody's playing the video game, you'd put your quarter up on the edge of the of the like on the edge of the arcade. It's like you'd put yourself in line. I don't know how we remember which quarter was ours, but you know we all did. We were very good at it. Uh, do you remember the tables at the Pizza Hut with the video games? The yes, I do. I do. I do. Uh, brown is just dark orange. Hello, Kitchen Bratlin. How are you? Hello. The sky was copper. Yeah, a lot of my favorite dates was a woman kicking in my ass at video games. That's a good time. Uh, origami shuriken says in japanese the word for green was originally the same as the word for blue right there's a whole thing that people think about this baron tour says i mean we have people like me who don't see the same color there are reports that more and more force being born without wisdom teeth so yay evolution hey takadosh yeah so it like might actually be true i mean i don't know this is a theory that people have come up with and maybe it's true maybe it's not that people just didn't see color the same way we did you know a couple thousand years ago which yes that's right time of gifts homer in the dark wine sea right so that's really interesting to me Eldritch Alligator says, it's an interesting idea. If it's true, I wonder what all else that might be the case for. Me too. So Eldritch Alligator, I think what's um, what's what's interesting to me is maybe not so much if it's true or not, because I don't know if we could ever know that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's a thing we could ever know 100% if it's true or not. But I think it's something to think about. It's really interesting. Like, what does it mean? Because first off, like, Baron Tor sees different colors than we do, because Baron Tor has got a kind of colorblindness. Uh, and like, what if, like, what if that was how everybody was? Like, what if everybody had Baron Tor's eyesight 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago? I don't know. 4,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. I don't know. And like, what does that mean for our perception? And I'm going to, I'm going to get like a whoa on you, but I am from California, so it's okay. Uh, Horikami Shuriken says, they say it's blue when the traffic light turns green. Oh, that's interesting. Kitchen Bratlin says, I remember from an episode of QI, great show, where they said bronze was just their name for blue. Huh. 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 Ancient traffic light. Stop. Wait. Wine. <laughs> uh, 
Ice Buddy says, my brother is less a gamer than I. Mm -hmm. Cocktail table arcade machines. Thank you, Baratora. That's what they were called. Uh, I do remember those, yes. Uh, hey, Courier, how are you? Pong was what 40-year-old dads bought. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because Pong was like, you. that was expensive. Like, who has money for that, you know? Um, the video game crash. Thank you, Talkers of 82. The video game crash of 82. Yep. Um, it's weird. It's weird to think of the fact that we had this whole like arcade system. Everything was like doing itself. And then the, the crash happened. And then we that kind of stopped, you know? I mean, they were still around, but you know. Uh, remembering which quarter was whose was a matter of life and death. That's how you remember. Okay, that's actually, Scabinac, that's actually true. That is how you remember because uh, it was life and death. They still line up quarters when Street Fighter was, and such were hitting the scene. I imagine they still did it when Dance Dance Revolution was a thing too. I imagine they must have. Although I imagine Dance Dance Revolution was kind of pricey, right? Um, Atonica said, I was actually talking about a movie with Madonna in it the other day. Which one? But I don't think it will count as a hidden gem since I think it's well known. Oh, I mean, I, I think most of our movies are pretty well known. Uh, Volpa says, the putting a quarter in line came from pool tables. Oh, maybe I would do ski ball. Uh, no, that's not what it's called, is it? Ski ball? No. Air hockey. But there's another name. Do we call it? What we, you Somebody in chat's going to know. Air hockey, but there's another game for it. I feel like it's not ski ball because I feel that's the one where you roll the, the wooden ball up into the little thing. But I feel like there's a another name we used to call the air hockey machine. Um, I don't remember that important thing, but I have a different thing. I have a different thing. Uh, Thomas, we used to do the quarter lunch for DDR. Yeah. Um, and maybe, maybe, maybe Ice Buddy, the, uh, being a fluffy bunny like you, is it? Well, people have been fluffy uh, for hundreds of years, for centuries. There was like an entire uh, centuries where being fluffy was, was the aesthetic value. Uh, and also various countries, right? Like usually countries that have don't have a lot of food, being super fluffy is a sign of um, wealth and attractiveness. So it kind of depends on when and where you are. Um, yes. Is it time for the subjective reality versus subjective reality talk? Maybe, but I gotta do something different first. Desperately Seeking Susan. Oh, uh, the one with Warren Beatty was, so there's Desperately Seeking Susan, which was with uh, Roseanne Arquette. Uh, the one with Warren Beatty was Dick Tracy. She was also in Shanghai Surprise. That was a, a, a Sean Penn movie. Um, then she did that one, Body of Evidence, which I never saw. And then I feel like she had another movie. I mean, of course she was in Evita, um, which she campaigned really hard for. And, oh, I feel like there's something else. Uh, the ancient humans couldn't see blue argument kind of falls a bit flat when you realize that ancient paintings and sculptures and the like use lots of blue paint. But I wonder, but I wonder what it looked like to them. Do you know what I mean? Like, what if it didn't look blue? Oh, oh, uh, that's right, Atomica. She was in uh, 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 League of Their Own. She was very good in that one. She was in League of Their Own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's equally likely that color theory just changed. Oh, could, yeah, 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 yeah. That, mm, I mean, it's interesting, right? Because I was, oh, another point. I, I want to catch up in chat, but I feel like I'm going to forget this if I don't tell you now. Um, so there is a, a, a color test that I found online once. It was really, really interesting. And it, oh, I wish I could find it. Oh, why don't I save, like, this is what happens when you close tabs. Do you know what I mean? When you find a website, you think it's really cool, you mess around with it and you're like, I'm done with this website. And then you close that tab. And then six years later, you're on a video game stream and you wish, you wish you had that tab open right now. You know what I mean? Now I wish I had that tab open. This is what happens when you close tabs. This is what happens right now. Uh, the point is <laughs> that there was a, um, uh, um, a, right, there's a whole, there's a website where they would show you various colors and you would pick out the differences between them. Like you're like, this one is different from that one. This one's different from that one. This one's different from that one. And it would measure how, uh, how well you can tell the difference between colors that are similar. So like they'd have like a bunch of different greens and there was a study done by some various cognitive psychologists um, wherein the better your color vocabulary is, the more you're able to distinguish between subtle variations in color. And so because men in our size society currently tend to use fewer and are less familiar with um, 
they don't have as a wide color variety, not all men hashtag, and that uh, women tend to have a, a wider vo color vocabulary. This is, again, social, not biological. Women can often distinguish between these colors more and then men cannot. And I was like, that's really interesting. And so like, I did the test and I think I was actually pretty good at it. I mean, I didn't get everything, but like, but so basically, in the same way that like not everyone can hear all certain kind of differences, apparently not all of us can. I imagine you could learn it. I mean, I don't know if you can learn it. I don't know. All I know is I got a decent score, but I didn't get 100%. And I was like, what is that about? Um, uh, probably the sniper that the Soviet Union soldiers feared during World War II, the Winter War, is a Finnish sniper. Oh, yes, you know, Hayat, she was, she was amazing, right? Like, yeah, she was like, what do they call her? The White Death? That's what they called her? Irrelevant. The color I perceive of as blue could be the color you perceive of per sink. It's a pure semantic argument at that point. Hmm. Hey, young at heart. I suppose, it, maybe, I suppose the question is, do they see differences? The Vikings called the color blue black. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So Baron says, I mean, if we talk about traffic lights, then the top to me is kind of pink, but that color is the same as Barney the dinosaur. Then yellow is very pale and green is just white. There is a reason I don't drive fast at night in cities I'm not familiar with. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, they saw a color that we today define as blue. Everything else is pointless fluff. Um, well, I suppose it might depend though. Like, I suppose the question is, it depends on if they see the same number of colors that we see or if they see a fewer number of colors, right? Like if they saw a fewer number of colors, then I suppose it wouldn't be semantic, right? So the question is, do like let's say that we all see 10 colors. Let's just say that we today see 10 colors. If we see 10 colors and we give them 10 different names and they saw 10 colors, but they gave them seven names, that's different than if they saw seven colors and gave them seven names, right? So the, the question that the, the debate not between us, but between these random scientists or whatever, is whether or not they saw 10 colors and had seven names or whether or not they saw seven colors and had seven names. That's, that's, the, that's the question. Um, Bars has sh had shuffleboard tables, which were throwing pucks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. T mm -hmm. Dick Tracy was the one I couldn't think of, and I told Bart Vita, have you heard the COVID? I have not heard the COVID parody. Yeah, but if I, I try to only bookmark things that I will come back to, and you know, you know. Career three, in Irish, historically green means gray. It's not clear why, but it happens in the language too often to be coincidence. Oh, that's interesting. Um, hmm. Yes. Color names are a social construct. That's true. For example, orange is not a color. It's a kind of a light brown. Um, see spider. I will say yes and also no, right? Because it's a social construct. So there's a way in which if we name it and conceive of it differently, then I suppose it is. But if we don't, then I suppose it isn't, right? You know what I mean? Like that's that kind of like trickiness about color. So like maybe orange is a light brown or maybe it's its own thing, right? Like in a, because in um in elementary school, when we were learning how to make colors, uh, you would make orange by mixing yellow and red. So, Right in that kind of elementary school color theory, which is additive, because there are two different ways to there's two different color theories, right? But in that one, orange is not like a dark brown; it's it's a or a light brown. It's a you know, it's both um, it's yellow and red. But then again, if you mix them all together, you get that kind of mushy brown. I've I've used Play-Doh, uh, so maybe everything's really just some form of brown. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, tetrachromatism is in humans is only found in women, though. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, Kitchen says, and then there is the mind-melting information that the human eye can't see the spectrum where the color yellow is. So we apparently can't see yellow. Our brain just makes it up. Really? <gasps> hey, Lava Lace. Well, that's... Oh, Simo Hai was a man. Who was the person I was thinking of? There's a woman who is was this big sniper. Hey, Artie Snack. Soviet, thank you, Krellin. Ludmila Pavlichenko, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Krellin. Um, yeah, uh, Simo Hayat got blown up and ended up in a coma, but woke up after the war ended. Oh, wow. We all know from Nintendo there were only eight colors in the 80s. That's true. Uh, that's true. Uh, pigments are subtractive. Oh, thank you. It's light that's additive and pigments that are subtractive. I knew there were, like, yes. Yes, the Kavita parody is put out by the Lincoln Project, put out after a certain politician named. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, why well, I define it now? Uh, 
Bar uh, uh, Mrs. Barentor says, warm colors desaturate to brown, cool colors desaturate to gray. gray. She grades gemstones, so she has to deal with color. She married me who can't see color. Uh, I, I wish that... We'll Barentor, will you ask Mrs. Barentor to say a bit more about that? Because Mrs. Barentor clearly has an expertise, and this is like a learning moment, and I want to know more. Uh, so if Mrs. Barentor could just say more about, about that. Like, so if warm colors desaturate to brown and cool colors desaturate to gray, I think I would like to know more about the word desaturate. I would like to know more... Um, what when we say desaturate, I assume she doesn't nest she doesn't mean like on a computer where you like move a desaturation bar like on GIMP or something. She must be talking about like in the natural world, out in the universe. Like how like how but she's talking about gemstones, right? So do gemstones desaturate? If gemstones desaturate, how do they desaturate? What is the process by which gemstones desaturate are we talking about like bleaching in the sun like i i want to know more about the word desaturate in a non-computer context because that's really interesting i would like to see that uh, i would like to know more i would like to know more yellow is a mixture of red and green okay wait wait i missed it up it was the other way brown is not a color it's just oh okay okay um but takirosh in um in um so here's so here's what i think is so interesting right because back in the school days the primary colors did not include green they were yellow red and blue and so green was just a mix of uh blue and yellow is how you got green so the idea that blue that yellow is a mixture of red and green doesn't work with that but then of course computer screens don't use yellow red blue they use what yellow cyan they use magenta i don't know um time of gift says um i remember being taught that irish had two words for green gloss was naturally produced i.e green apples but if an artificial coloring a different word starting with you which i could never really remember oh so now we're actually wondering what 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 color doesn't exist i have a question um, Atomic says, all I know is a miniature painter, color is just another way <laughs> existence paints my heart and soul, shading and lighting is evil. You know, I try to do, um, when I was a middle schooler and first getting into Dungeons and Dragons, I tried to start painting miniatures because, you know, that's what you do. But I don't, I did not have anyone to teach me and I just did my best and because it was, there was no internet back then. So you just had to like work it out. But I remember I did this thing and, and I, I didn't know how to paint miniatures because I was 12 and nobody taught me how to do it and so like I didn't prime anything I put paint on but the paint was clearly I think I read an article in White Dwarf magazine about how to paint miniatures and it said like do a color wash like and I was so, like I put my paint on but it was like way too thick I hadn't I hadn't primed it and then when I did the color wash it just looked muddy and like then paint was flaky and I didn't spray a seal like it was not good is what i was trying to tell you and i would hope that if i tried to start painting miniatures again i would be better at it because i can look at the internet and and do better and i and i always kind of want to but then i don't so so there uh the danish and older norwegian the name for pink was is was light red oh that's light spectrum color theory i nanosphere says i think they desaturate due to oxygenation in the sun mm -hmm. um yes like it's like magenta i think that our brains just fill in like clearly our brains are filling i have a thought about brains filling in things vera lumen says my husband frequently has intelligent things to say about our discussions and i'm gently trying to move him onto the discord is it the same with mrs barentor like i just like i want to hear all, every time people have smart things to say i want to hear this is what i like why am i here to play video games but also to hear smart things from people in chat because then i then i learn things uh cmyk is printing um because of the subs uh -huh. rgb is Ruth Ginsburg Bader is uh, is screens, uh, but I feel like art is, or at least back in, when you were learning colors in school, it's not. It wasn't red, green, blue. It was red, yellow, blue. Mrs. Barentor, not bleaching in the sun. So crystal, when it's pure, of impurities is clear. So a white sapphire is clear. Oh, when it has the right combination of iron and vanadium, vanadium, it's blue. If it is a saturated blue, it's that sapphire blue. 
If it doesn't have enough, it's a grayer blue and a grayer blue back towards clear. It looks gray because it has the blue tint. Oh! So in this context, desaturation doesn't mean that you had color and you lost it, but that you never had enough in the first place. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I spend, he says, Trooper, you learned the color wheel of, of uh, Eiten and the color of Goethe included green as a primary color. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. Atomic says, it's fun and relaxing painting miniatures. A painting miniatures has become my Zen activity. Oh, <laughs> Baron was like, oh yeah, those early painting miniatures, bags and guys. And they didn't tell you a lot. It wasn't great. Do you know what I mean? I was like, oh, well. Additive color theory, says Takirosh, uh, colors from in light uses red, green, blue. Uh, and then what is the other one? What's the one that I had that I learned back in the day? Uh, CMYK is cyan, magenta, yellow, and keratin or black. That's interesting. Red, yellow, blue are the primary colors of art. Okay. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Because I knew there was like, I know, like, yeah, there's like a, yeah. The difference between additive and subtractive coloring red, blue, yellow is subtractive. Red, blue, yellow, subtractive. Uh, how goes the update? Which update? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, oh, the oh, the update is done. The update is done. Uh, hey, Prax, Prax, we were talking about the theory of whether or not the ancient people could see blue or not. Do you have thoughts on this? Because I read some people were like, in the ancient world, they could not see the color blue. And like, we don't know if that's true or not. And I, and you are a classicist, not a classist. And we, I thought that you might, you might have thoughts on this. Vulpa says, what they teach in schools is pigment color theory, like paint. RGB is light from like from a prism. They interact differently. Oh. Subtractive color theory, AK colors from pigments, use red, yellow, blue. In printing, you use cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Okay, says your artist time. CMYK is the true subtractive theory. Red, yellow, green was an easier concept for children to understand, but they are but they are actually colors made with CMYK. Oh. Hmm. Uh, wife says, Mrs. Barentor says, one of the major things when we grade a stone is the saturation of color. If it's highly saturated, it's worth more because it's more beautiful. With color gemstones, it's all about the color. All about the color. Other things less important like cut and clarity. Huh. Uh, Barentor, ask Mrs. Barentor, um, the Hope Diamond? Was the Hope Diamond really important because of its color or because of its size or both? or both. Um, while screens rely on adding light together, so red, green, blue. Oh, so screens are additive. Hmm. 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 Okay, look, I am caught up. So now I'm gonna tell you what I was gonna somebody's tell you. Somebody's watching me. Now I'm gonna wait. Uh, I always feel that somebody's watching me and I have no privacy, whoa. I always feel that somebody's watching me. Tell me, is it just a dream? Uh, thank you so much for that follow, Lava Lace. That is awesome. Welcome in, uh, you know, hang out with us. I'm happy to have you here. Welcome in. Hey. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, yes, blue was a color and could be seen through prisms. Some of the most beautiful works we have are based on shades of blue. Okay, okay. Red, yellow, blue, my bad. I too much digital to remember pigments these days. Right, so yeah, there's a whole thing with that, right? Also, obviously, the, the, the amount of light spectrum that only comes from the sun compared to the various synthetic lighting sources. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm so this is the thing I wanted to do before we started the video game, which you know we're gonna do and all that um, real soon. Um, so, if you mix light from a red source and a blue source and a green source on the screen, you get white. Yeah, what I see, but I know that like with light, what we see is the opposite of what it is. Oh, I want to tell you this other thing. Oh, I was going to do the thing, but then I forgot. I'm going to just write this down because I'm going to forget. Okay, hold on. I want to tell you about the avant-garde music piece, avant-garde music piece, ears. And then that, uh, okay. 
Right. Because we're talking about light right now. I'm just going to write this down um, real soon. So, I, I, you know, I was, I, was to, I was told that when you see something that is, that is red, what that means is that that thing absorbs all of the light except for the red frequency spectrums. And so the red bounces back. So technically, a thing that is red is really the opposite of red. It's everything but red. Right? And then, like, a white thing absorbs none of the colors. So like a white thing is like all, like we think it's the absence of colors, but it's all the colors. And then black is none of the colors. Wait. No, I think I just mixed that up, right? You're seeing the object of light that's aren't, yes, right. Yeah, col yes, color is super important because blue diamonds are super rare and the Hope Diamond is a desaturated diamond because it's a very gray blue. It also phosphoresces red in UV light Really? Oh, so that's another interesting thing about it. Also, its history is unique as an Indian stone. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of information that I want Mrs. Barentor to just tell us, because that seems really exciting. Uh, Sal says, hi, sorry, a beautiful woman walked into the room and I was temporarily distracted speaking to her. Sorry that I presumably missed the rest of the color conversation by now. Uh, it's fine. Uh, that's why folks think plants are green. Mm -hmm. Blue pigments were made from lapis lazuli that they, in the Renaissance, got from Afghanistan. Oh. Uh, so here's what I want to tell you. This is really important. because we There was this whole discussion in chat earlier about how there is some color and we were trying to, Mrs. Barentor guest lecture. That would be so cool. I would love a Mrs. Barentor guest lecture where she teaches us about gemstones. I would love that because I don't know much about gemstones. And if we have an expert in gemstones, which we do, I could learn a whole lot. And really, that's really all I want in my life. You know what I mean? I just want to learn things from people who know stuff. That's that's all I want. Um, yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Barrator is like, I'm a court reporter here. Um, Adonis Nimbus says, exactly why pigments are subtractive, because if something is red, it absorbs green and blue light. So you if so if you add to it something that's oh, I see, uh-huh, uh-huh. Also, why a black shirt in the sun will feel hotter, right? And white shirts feel cooler as the black absorbs the light and the white reflects it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other chemical compounds that photosynthesize. Green chlorophyll won out because it's more adaptable. Oh, that's interesting. The more you know about the niche thing you love, the more I like. Courier 3, that's exactly how I am. Can I tell you one of uh, the most... Hold on. Uh, I wanted to say something about... Uh, no, no, I think it was good. I wanted to say, I, I, one of the coolest conversations I had with somebody uh, was someday Trooper will have time to do the summer interviews again. Yes, it's just that I, this summer was my moving. So I have to wait till I'm not in the middle of a move, right in the middle of it, you know? Um, and that was the day that McFoxville became like a free online college course with rotating professors giving guest lectures. Hey, I, like, if I get my summer interviews, I would do it. I would just sit there and like tell me things because I'm so interested because I'm so excited about that. Um, I used to make my own black in pigments. If you mix the three primary colors just right, it makes black. Mm -hmm. I wear nothing but black and people always give me shit all summer. Uh, emerald green also contains arsenic and killed a lot of Victorians. Well, you know those Victorians. They, they, they love arsenic. Um, one of the coolest conversations, I want to say this, one of the coolest conversations I ever had was with this woman I was in the army with. And she, because you know when you're in the army, I don't, okay, probably the military in general. For you who have never been in the military, one of the things that's really interesting about being in the military, there might be other contexts where this also happens, but it does happen in the military, is that people bond real fast. Um, people bond real fast in the military. Uh, I find that civilians are a little bit more... The military can be very intense. And the way you interact with people can be very intense if you're not in the military. What I mean by that is if I meet somebody in the military, I'm in the military, they're in the military, we already have this thing in common. And so we were going to interact with each other. We interact pretty intensely, like real fast. So like I will tell I would tell people in the military all sorts of things about myself. We would like, like, I don't know you, you don't know me. Let's let's like find each other, let's find out about each other. And like, like, boom, it's really intense. And like it's a very intense sort of thing where you like just like, you know, you bond really quickly. I find that civilians are like not really they're just they're a bit more distrusting of people uh, and they're not they don't open up and share as quickly as people in the military do which was by the way a huge uh, a huge adjustment for me when i went from being in the military to being outside the military and i would meet new people i was like yeah let's get to know each other and they're like mm, who are you but anyway the point was i was talking to this woman and um 
we were sharing all the things. And she told me that she wanted to be, and she was before she joined the military, she was practicing to be a professional bowler. And I don't really know much about bowling. I've bowled one or two games, but in that way that like person who doesn't know anything about bowling will bowl one or two games. And she told me all about bowling on a professional level. She was like semi-pro. And it was the most fascinating thing I've ever heard of. Like I didn't know, I mean, maybe you all know, but I, I didn't know that per, like semi-pro bowlers, pro bowlers, they'll get like a, when they buy a bowling ball, the bowling ball doesn't have the holes drilled in it. And they basically go to like a, like they take a video, they get like videos done of them, like throwing the ball and like various, like, I don't know, special sciencey type people will like analyze how they hold the ball and roll the ball and what they do. And then they'll drill, they'll like do mathematics and like drill the holes specifically to their hand and also specifically to how they move their body in space and time. And then she told me about how like what you really need to do is get sponsorship because in order to be a really good bowler, you have to play ball, you have to bowl all the time, but that's really expensive. So like about the whole process of getting a sponsorship and getting your ball, like, you know, the whole thing. So the point was that was super fascinating and I learned a lot that that's, that's all. Um, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> A future for the colloquium. More colloquium all the time. Like 100 degree weather and I'm in jeans and a t-shirt all black. Hey, you know what? That's very goth of you. I take it. Sounds like super fast, super fucking fast. Yes. Uh, taciturn maybe? Distant? I don't know. I, I don't know what I would call civilians. They're just not like, they just don't... Get in each other's faces real fast. Uh, Baron, uh, Mrs. Barantor says, emeralds are colored by chromium, so are rubies. Oh, so when they first synthesized them, people would die because chromium is not good for you. Oh. Uh, Kimsey says, so these are more socially reserved? Um, hey, I just feel like um, they have more ego to create separation. No, I don't think it's that. I think it's, um, um, I will tell you, because actually I do know another group of people for whom that also happens, and I will tell you in a second. Um, Sal, like, we're both ASW techs. We both like art history. Are we now, now best, best friends? Um, more distrusting, but want to know some things that are just like, why? Yeah, Prax, it's weird, right? Uh, it's weird that, like, you're like, what? What is that? Uh, uh mm? Nano says, it was on a cruise ship, and the lady was talking about fire apples and how they were found worth great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Artie says, I find that there's a much lesser form of that meeting people at conventions. Thank you. And that's what it is, right? It's not just people in the military. People in the military... It happens, I think, because we were all in the military. Like, we all went through basic training. Like, there's like a... Um, um, so, okay. There's this thing that people like, okay. I teach at a college. I teach at a university. And my college students, like, I will hear people say, no. I'll hear people say on the internet, who are no longer in college, they'll say, how do people make friends? How do people make friends? I don't even know. Like, in college, you can make friends. But, like, now that I'm not in college, how in the world would I ever make friends? And for me, I was like, what? Like, that. that's like, and I realized that, of course, how do you make this bonding in the military? You have an opener. If I meet somebody in the military that I don't know at all, that I don't know, I've never met them, I don't know anything about them, I can say, hey, what was your MOS? Where did you do basic training? Where were you stationed? I have all these questions that are openers that will allow us to sort of bond with each other. And they can say, oh, here's my basic training story, da, 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 right? And Artie Snack is like the same thing with conventions, right? You meet people at conventions and you can bond a bit more quickly because you have this, uh, a pre, you already have a shared commonality or at least the perception of ones you have an opening. And I find that was also the same um, in the, well, Back in the day, not I think it's different now, but back in the day, the queer community was also the same way. Because if I met somebody who was queer and I didn't know them at all, um, I could be like, "Hey, what's your what's your coming out story?" And they would tell me their coming out story. I would tell me that you know, like we'd tell the stories and like we would bond. And I was like, "Oh, this is what happened, da 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 da, right?" And you know, or like, "What is this?" Like, there's all there's like a whole set of there's like a um, a set of shared questions that you can ask each other to get the conversation started. So uh, so my point is when I tell my ex-students who are like, I don't know how to meet people, it's like, get a hobby. If, if you want to meet people, get a hobby that involves interacting with other people in some way, uh, wherein maybe you can talk to other people. That's all, that would be like, that would be my, my thought on that one. Um, let's see, let's see. We're talking about asbestos. Where are we? Okay, hold on, asbestos. Um, so now we could take this off on a tangent and talk about Vanta Black and the battles between Ans Kapoor and the Stuart's Temple. Well, Vulpas, that's a thing I don't know about, and now I want to know about it. Leaded glass, not asbestos. 
Um, cruise ship jewelry gemstones are overpriced, my wife says. She's graded a lot under... Oh. Uh, well, that makes sense because they've got you on a ship, so they figure they're going to charge you a lot for everything. Uh, there's a jeweler whitesmith on Twitch that talked for a half hour about the on the different colors of barrel. That's interesting. I want to know who that is. Greeks use asbestos cloth. Hmm. Where do they get asbestos? Ice Bunny says, I'm so scared that my fingers would get stuck in a bowling ball and break when I threw the ball. I don't think that's how that would work, Ice Bunny. Atomica says, I used to bowl, you can see I'm at lag, and I used a weird side-headed toss and I was okay. I couldn't throw underhand like most people to save my life. Huh. Yeah, but maybe you could get like a ball, like, tailorly drilled to you. Atomica, nah, not goth. No anchor makeup law. More metal head. That also works. That's fair. That's fair. Different types of jeans. Baron Tour. Jer, I've tried to talk to her about having her own stream before, too. Maybe after she gets set up her own business, she's working on I would listen. I would go and watch her stream. Uh, Scabby Next says, having a huge thing in common with someone is a big deal. Yeah. Adonis Nimbus says, speaking of both colors and painting miniatures, the Warhammer rule for orc vehicles, red ones goes faster, can actually be almost infinitesimally true in some situations. Really? I, I want to know more about that. Um, I think socializing in the military, says Kemsey, has a lot to do with shared experience. Totally. Totally. Shared adversity. And then having having the things you can, like, there are things that I can say. I was like, oh, did you have this experience? And we can talk about it, right? Um, maybe there's a familiar or have an implicit. Yeah. And it's not necessarily true, but right, you at least have an opening. Um, Berenger, I'll send you a link later if you want. Yeah, the shared adversity, the shared, yeah. Eldritch Alligator says, being in a place where you know you already have something in common makes quite the difference. And that's actually what college is, right? Because the same thing that you do in, in the military, you actually, people do, like, the people I know who are like, oh, I, once you're outside of college, how do you make friends? Like, well, in college, you have an easy opener. You meet somebody in college and you're like, what's your major? What classes are you taking? Like, you have the easy opener, right? Because you have that shared experience, like, how are your finals going? And so when you're not in any of these ex things, you have to figure out what that thing is going to be. Um, I like to think there's a bit of that old esprit de corps. Yes. Adana says, is there, if there's enough red light coming from a star, a red solar sail traveling away from the star would in fact go faster than most other monochromatic colored sails. Oh, that's interesting, Adonis Nimbus. Uh, related, related experience our social star for sure. Yeah. Um, red ones go faster is a, is a concept in human beings too. People in red cars has a higher, it's true. Well, I don't know if they actually speed more if they get pulled over for speeding more, but nonetheless, red cars get more speeding tickets than non-red cars. Atomica says, I never make friends. Other people do. I'm the stereotypical introvert that gets randomly adopted by an extrovert and exposed to other people. Atomica, I'm going to poke at you on this one because you've just hit one of my pet peeves about the way that people are using the word introvert now. It's one of my pet peeves, one of my pet peeves. And so I'm going to sort of hit this uh, Chris says, yeah, I'm going to save experiences with other people. Oh, yeah, me too. Like, you're like, oh, when did you, like, what is your transition story? How did you know? Like, these are things that you like, and then like, depending on, depending on where you live, like, who was your surgeon? Because, and when you are, because now I think there are more surgeons, but back in my day, there were like, not that many. So like, you know, all those ones, and uh, there's a lot of things you could, you could say. My wife says more young people need to learn hor horology since a dying trade. There are a bunch of dying trades that I, that I would, um, that I would that I worry about, that I worry about. Um, it doesn't even have, need to have an interaction baked into the hobby. That's right. That's true, Sal. I've started striking up a conversation with randos on the shooting line at the archery club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Trooper, as fluffy as my fingers are fluffy. So, no, you just get the, I explain, you just get a, a bowling ball drilled so that it will fit your fingers. That's all. Um, that You know, that's all. Um, so here's my thing about introversion. It really is like one of my pet peeves. People now are using the word introverted to mean shy or socially awkward and extroverted to mean having good social skills. And whether or not you have social skills or not has nothing to do with introversion or extroversion. Introverts can go out, interact with people, be very charming, have great social skills. They just get their energy drained and then have to go and like recharge by themselves. Whereas extroverts can be super socially awkward. Extroverts can have social anxiety. They can have terrible people skills. They can be all in your face and no one wants them to be because they're not good at it. Like it's just that they get their energy from being around other people. And right now people are using introversion, extroversion. They use introversion to mean social anxiety or bad social skills, but that's not fair because I know a bunch of people are like, oh, if I'm extrovert, I could never be a teacher. It's like, yes, you can be a teacher and be an extrovert, uh, introvert, pardon me. Introverts can be teachers. I know a lot of people who are 
introverts and teachers, and sometimes it works really well for them because of all the writing you have to do. That's all I'm saying. Um, so anyway, introverts can have great social skills. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Rissa says, I'm forever grateful that your talks with Bill on the SJG boards brought him to invite you to Whispers all those years ago. Yeah. That very first dinner after session zero, I was so impressed with how you were able to engage every single person at the table in conversation, even though it was the first time you met us all. Well, because I'm interested in people, Rissa. Like, I'm really interested in people and like what they have to say and who they are. I love that. Vola says, was the person who did the friend of the Dorothy investigation for U.S. military serious about that investigation or did he just want the, went, just went to date with his others free of charge? Um... Well, which one? Because uh, there are so many, there are so many investigations. So many. Adama says, talk, talk Oh yeah, Ferraris and sports cars being read more often just statistically raises the likelihood of cars. Yeah. Um, Baron Tour. As you're not really true, all the fancier watches are still, still are. And there's that sort of hipster vibe with pocket watches. Oh, I have a pocket watch. People still like that non-digital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I should just, I know I'm going to, no, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I, I am. I'm going to play the game, but I have to do one thing first. I would do one thing first because it's been an hour. After an hour, I got to go in there. At least load it up. At least load it up. Name game. The name game. Come on, everybody. Mm, mm, I say, now let's play a game. I bet you I could make a rhyme out of anybody's name. The first letter of the name. I treat it like it wasn't there. And then a B or an F or an M will appear. And then I say boo at a B, then I say the name, then banana, fan, or info. And then I say the name again with an F very plain, then a fee, fi, and a mo. And then I say the name again with an M this time, and there isn't any name that I can't rhyme. Mm, 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 mm. Laugh Love Lindy. Laugh Love Lindy. Laugh Love Lindy. Bo Baff Love Lindy. Banana Fan of Foot Faff Love Lindy. Fee Fama Maff Love Lindy. Laugh Love Lindy. Yes. Thank you for that resub, Laugh Love Lindy. How amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 okay, look, wait, wait. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. Uh, this is important. Uh, I'm going to get myself what this. Uh, and my father and my husband are both huge introverts. They're great talking with people, says Verum. They just get drained by too many people being around. I am an, an extrovert. Atomic says, I totally have social skills. I just prefer being alone on my own and just not around small groups of people. I'm actually fine at Oh, that's interesting. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, speak, uh, practice speaking from experience as an introvert teacher. Yeah, I mean, and actually, I think introvert teachers have like a, when it comes time to do the writing, the research, good for them, you know? In many ways, it makes sense that extroverts would have more social anxiety as they need that socialization much more than introverts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. It's just, yeah, introvert extrovert's about what brings you energy. Um, Socials are learned, anyone can do it. And an, that's uh, Courier. Adonis says, and an introvert can even have a very big battery, which makes me people think they are extroverted. That's true, yeah. Um, okay, look, here's a thing. Here's a, here's a thing. Oh, you don't fit you. Okay, no, no. It's, it is fine if you don't. It's just that I see people on the internet all the time being like, you know, I'm an introvert. That means I could never speak to anybody ever. And I was like, that's not what that word means. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, so, Tomika, you were good. Uh, but I just want to point that out because people do this all the time. Um, so, look, here's the thing I wanted to do. This is really important. I'm going to just like, Sal says, I really hate how people use intro extrovert as all consuming people. Yes. Um, you know what's really interesting, Sal, about this uh, that I think is really fascinating? Um, so this is the thing that I was, and then I'm going to do the thing because I've got it all set up. I'm going to do the thing. Um, so this, I think, is really fascinating. I was talking to somebody about this, about identity and how um, there are things that we perceive of as our identity that we perceive of as being really core and central to who we are in this way that is like, we were talking about this like with terms of sexuality, how like sexual identity is, is not that old. It's like 200 years old, maybe-ish, you know, around... 200 and some a little bit less than 200 years old people didn't really have sexual identities more than 200 years ago they that's not how they interpreted the world uh, and this thing that we're like ah oh, this is so central to who i am it's like who i am is not a concept and i was thinking about how nowadays um there are people for whom uh like okay so like various physical things right so there are people for whom like um you know, I'm a person with autism and that is my identity. It's my identity. But people don't say I'm a person with high cholesterol. That is my identity. There is no identity around high, having high cholesterol. And what's interesting to me is that being an extrovert or an introvert was not an identity a couple of decades ago. But now 
people, not only is it an identity that people are like, I am an introvert and I'm an oppressed minority. Um, and I want to talk about like how I as an introvert am being oppressed. Right. So like, it's like really interesting to me, like what things become an identity and what things don't or might maybe fall out of identity and then sort of come back into identity. Oh, there's a video I want to share with you on discord, which I think is interesting. Um, that's all. So huh, Sal says, and usually, and they usually use differences between introverts and extroverts type posts as an opportunity to shit on extroverts. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. Uh, I mean, I've heard, uh, the things I've heard about extroverts on many of these forums have been very distressing to me. And I was like, oh, wow, thanks. That's that's real, that's real kind of you. Um, thanks, like really, really. <laughs> there are days when I can't, when, when I can't human, well, that's fair. Um, say my friends used to get very confused on the rare occasions I'd run out and say, okay, 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 here's what I'm gonna do. I wanted to do one thing before I started the video game. It's really important. It's why I shut down PS Play. I'm gonna do it right now. Right now I'm doing it, right now. Even though I wanted to say the thing about the other thing, I won't do that now, I'm gonna do the thing first. Think first. All right, so last night, last night on City of Light and Shadow, I sang this song in French uh, as Luke, the character Luke, and, uh, and the thing is that like, it wasn't perfect. Like I have been spending the last two, three days like memorizing this French and like working really hard on it. And I was like, oh man, I messed up this middle part. And I was like, it's not, it's not what I wanted. It's not perfect. So I'm gonna sing it right now because I feel like I can sing it better right now. I'm gonna just sing it better right now with you all is what I'm gonna do. So I wanted to sing it because I was like, you know what? I feel like I can do better than I did last night. And so I'm gonna sing it with you right now. Because I, I feel like I can do better, and I feel like I can get my French better. Because like that middle section, that like little, that little transition point was like just not as good as it could have been. And so, so I'm gonna sing it again right now. I'm gonna sing it better than I did last night. This is all I'm saying because, because, so I want it to be better. I want you to know it. What's my volume like? Yeah, I think that's okay. J'attendrai le jour et la nuit, j'attendrai toujours ton retour. J'attendrai qu'à l'oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli. Dans son lit, le temps passe court et battant tristement dans mon cœur si lourd. Et pourtant, j'attendrai ton retour. Les fleurs pâlissent, les jours s'étendent, l'ombre se glisse dans les jardins, l'horloge est tissé dans son très lent, je sens content de ton pas. Ma vente se porte des bruits louettants, devant ma porte, j'écoute un vin, hélas, plus rien, plus rien, ma vie. J'attendrai le jour et la nuit, la j'attendrai toujours ton retour. J'attendrai qu'à l'oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli. Dans son lit, la tempe s'écoule, un bâton tristement dans mon cœur si Et pourtant, j'attendrai ton retour. Just saying. 
because I was like, no, I messed up that little part. Oh, I was like so mad about it. I don't like it when I mess up little parts. That's it. That's it. Better. I missed that one, because here's the thing, I'm gonna tell you, there's this one line, it's um, uh, de, de bruit, de bruit, hold on, it's a, de bruit vointant, which is really hard to sing. It's, th there's this one line I was like, and I think the people, like, all the people I was listening to who were singing it, were basically like alighting those those uh, syllables a little bit, they just kind of like smushed a little bit together, I was like, but I want to pronounce it like, more accurate than less accurate, but it's let's see, it's uh, de bruit le lointain, de bruit, de bruit le lointain, and like it's a really fast line. Uh, ma vent, uh, le vent me porte, de bruit lointain, de vent me porte, j'écoute un vent, hélas, plus rien, plus rien me vient, right? But like that is a really hard line to say. I've been like, like that one over and over, and it's and I. I I think I messed it up again because it's hard. That's a hard, like, that's that's hard to say if you were not, a, like, I suppose if you're native French, then it may not be so hard to say. But I'm just going to tell you that that was, that was not, that was hard to say. That That is all I'm saying. That was, that was not easy. Uh, yes. That's what I'm going to say. But that's it. While, while we're doing that, I'm going to now pull up uh, PS Play so that we can get the game on uh, the screen. Because, you know, that, but that's, that's it. <laughs> Oh, uh, there. Let's see. Uh, gotta go watch the VOD now. I was lurking, feeding baby. Oh, baby. Oh, no. It, that is fine, Adonis Nimbus. Wait, what is this? Access, what, what, what is going on? What is happening? Why do I have to sign in? Why do I have to sign in? That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Searching for PS4. Search it. Find it. Uh, uh, there's a lot of implicit looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Luke still got it. He did. What? I don't think I've ever heard anyone say extroverts can't read. No, I've heard. Um, I've heard things like extroverts are uh, shallow. Uh, they they are not deep. They're not intelligent. They cannot form friendships with people, not real friendships, not real friendships. Extroverts can form real friendships, but extroverts cannot. Also, extroverts are users and fundamentally abusers because they're energy vampires and they just rob your energy and they're like hostile and, and like toxic and dangerous besides being stupid and shallow. Uh, uh, what is this? Hint, cannot wait. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on right now? You turn off the PS4. You know what's happening? I bet it's I bet it's turned off. Um, yeah, no, it's just just terrible. Um, extroverts like cloud, cold, loud, windy places. So I don't even know what that is. Um, uh, so I'm gonna my job as I'm an introvert. My job is legit cold, loud, windy places. Uh, Tom, probably because shutting yourself away and getting lost in the books is perceived as a very introvert thing to do. All consuming labels are dumb. I mean, I read all the time. Um, yeah, high intelligence is not all typed up to be. What is more important is a functional brain. Um, I don't know. I think what's most important is is like being kind to other people. What is going on here, promote? What what is going on here? Let's let me see what's going on here. Um, uh, y'all, I, I remember when Trooper busted out in song on the Witcher RPG. Everyone was like, "Let's talk." This guy playing a bard can actually sing. Well, I wanted to like, but he wasn't really a bard. It was a fake. Um. I will tell, uh, yeah, I will tell you, I, I was sitting there, I was sitting there working so hard to get that French down because I don't speak French. Like French is like German is my primary and then Spanish is my secondary and French is not. So I was like listening to Jean Sablon, Tino Rossi, and uh, what's her name? Um, there's this, uh, an, an, basically another one of these sort of French singers from the 1930s. I just sat there listening to all of them pronounce this song over and over and over and over again. And I was like, okay, wait. Uh, when is it le? When is it le? Okay, le. All right, wait, wait. Oh, un, eh. Okay, wait. And I just sat there, like, like micro listening to their pronunciation over and over and over again. Because um, I was just like, uh, um, you know what group I saw that attitude from first, the whole my identity is, is the thing, and other people are listening. Oh, internet atheists. Oh, yeah, internet atheists can be kind of jerks. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
And then it's weird to think of atheism as like an identity, but whatever. Um, sound excellent as fucked my dumb American ears. I just didn't want to sound like a terrible American. Do you know what I mean? Like, like the worst thing I'd want to do is sing in French and be all like super American about it, where people are like, oh my God, that's the most American thing I've ever heard ever. And then I'm like super sad about it. That would make me so sad. Um, like that's just, that would be so, 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 so sad. Um, I would be... What was off about the time, the past time you performed this song? Um, so what was off is that, okay, you want to know what was off, and it was this. Speaking of which, by the way, um, before we start, I'm going to go right next door to where my PS4 is, because I think it might have shut off, and maybe that's the problem. Otherwise, we're not getting the PS4 today. What's going on? Take it, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's watching me. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to see if we can get this thing going on over here. This is what we're going to do. So the question was, what was off about the past if I performed it? I can answer that question for you. Um, let's see. Oh, psychology. Um, happy birthday. Got some people on the autism spectrum. Hello, gender. Hello, gender Slamilton. I worry about you. Uh, Mrs. Burnt is now in the Fox at least on Discord. Yes, good. That means you can tell us stuff. And I, I'm going to, um, I've got, I've, I've restarted the PS4 over there. I'm going to reopen PS4 Play because that's how we get play happen. It was like I had it all set up earlier, but let's let's see if we can get this going. Let's see if we can get this going. Um, it seems that the introvert extrovert is becoming the new version of popular jock outcast nerd division. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Um, so, I, um, hey, Xander Slamilton. Um, so, uh, hint, connect via the internet on the PS4, select settings, account management, activate... Okay. Mm hmm. Let me open my preferences. PlayStation Network. Is that even? Is that even? Is that even? Let's see. Uh, we're gonna find that PS4. Find the PS4. Um. So okay. Hold on. Cannot find the PS4. Why? What even happened with you? Come on, PS4 Remote Play. Hey, uh, right now, my PS4 Remote Play is being really weird in a way that I don't understand. Uh, on the PS4, add device. Ugh. It's too odd to be even. All right, so I'm going to tell you what was wrong while I do another thing. This is what we're going to do. I've, I've got a plan. Uh, I have a plan. So this is what happened. We're going to do this. Uh, uh, can't say, I'm going to hit a backtrack. Apologies if that was a to But you were answering about, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was going to tell you. Thank you. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out how to sort of work this out. Um, We've updated your advice and hopefully risk. Yes, Scamming, that's what happened. They reset all my settings, and I'm going to have to do some kind of a weird thing to get this all worked out, I think. So I'm like, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something slightly different. Um, uh, so what was off about it? So I, 
So a couple of things was off about it. One, the opening line, J'attendrai le jour et la nuit, j'attendrai toujours ton retour. So that first, the first, j'attendrai, uh, see, that's, that's the messed up right there. It's like, j'attendrai, that's the first, the first time you say, j'attendrai, you do it like that, that's the melody. Um, and then the second time you say it, you say, uh, it's a slightly different melody the second time you say it. Uh, in that in that first opening bit, and when the song starts, there's no. It's like it starts uh, empty. Verse like you get a big musical accompaniment, then the sound drops out, and then you start. You know, j'attendrai. That's it right there. J'attendrai le jour et la nuit. J'attendrai toujours ton retour. And then you say, j'attendrai. So it's like a different melody. J'attendrai. And and I when I first started, I used that second melody rather than the first one, which is which threw me off a little bit. So that was not good. So that was not making me happy because I was like, oh, I got the wrong. And if you, if you use that second one, uh, j'attendrai, you don't get the you. It throws off your your transition to that second second line, harder line, the le, le jour et la nuit, right? So like having started off with the wrong little melodic opening meant that that second half of that line was a little bit off, and it didn't. And the thing is, I was wanting to get, um, I'm trying to do like, I was trying to do kind of like a, a period sort of slightly 30s, uh, 30s crooner style, which involves a bit of scooping, right? So you're gonna go, j'attendrai le jour et la nuit. So there's like a kind of like a, a real sort of like a, swooping sort of thing, kind of like a lot of like slides that happen in that style. And because I started with the wrong melodic uh, three notes for that first Josh Andre. I couldn't get into that space, which was important because I wanted to start with this kind of um, um, sort of like slightly evocative thing, right? So like, you know, j'attendrai le jour et la nuit, right? But instead I was like, uh, j'attendrai, and I was like, ooh, le jour et la nuit. So it was like a little bit off right there. And I got back into it after that first line, but that was no good. Uh, so that first line was off and I didn't like it. And then, that was tricky. So then I was like, oh no, because I was trying to do like an emotional, I was trying to, I wanted to do an emotional arc for that song, right? So you get like a, j'attendrai le jour et la nuit, j'attendrai toujours ton résoudre, which is like, um, I will, I will wait you, j'attendrai, I, I will, I await you, le jour et la nuit, like night and day, um, le jour et la nuit, j'attendrai toujours, I will always wait your return, ton retour. J'attendrai, right? So here, and now it's like a slightly different thing emotionally. Um, uh, J'attendrai, car l'oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli dans son nid. Right, and I wanted to get that real like slide right into it. And I feel like I was a little bit thrown off for that first line. And that one's like the, uh, I, you know, I'll wait. Cause like the bird that in its flight, uh, uh, vient chercher l'oubli, like searching for its like memory or oblivion will always return to its nest. Uh, dans son nid, la tempête se court. I thought that was kind of okay, but I was thinking it was like uh, that. That first line threw me off. La tempête se court, uh, la tempête se court, et battant tristement dans mon cœur se lourd. Uh, uh, so and time runs and time flies and runs and like my beating heart, like full of sadness. You know, like this, like you know, my like, heart is just like full of sadness. But and yet, et top et battant, uh, j'attendrai. And yet, despite the fact that my beating heart is heavy with its sadness, you know, I will wait your return. And then, this is the next part where I messed up and I was like, oh, dang it. I think the last half was, I think the last return of the verse was fine. But that second part is like this middle part, which always has given me, that's the part with the most difficult French for me. Uh, and that's the part's like a, le fleur police. And also melodically, it's really weird because melodically the melody isn't particularly melodic. It's this kind of weird thing where it's like, uh, le fleur police. Le jour s'étend, uh, l'ombre se glisse dans le jardin. L'horloge tisse. No, nope, that's not right. Lo, uh, so it's so first off that particular. It's and it's actually a little bit fast. So it's uh, le fleur, le fleur police. They, although she pronounces the s, le fleur police. Le jour s'étend, l'ombre se glisse dans le jardin. So that's like um. The flowers fade, the flowers fade, uh, the game is extinguished, the flowers slide like in the garden, and then you say, um, 
Then there's this weird line that, that the, it's this one line where the melody's a little bit weird. L'orge tisse, that's it. L'orge tisse, danse très long. Je crois entendre ton pas. Right, so that's um, uh, uh, the hour, the hour weaves. L'orge tisse, the hour leaves. Dans, dans c'est très long. And it's like a, like I hear slow sounds. Dans c'est très long. Je crois entendre ton pas. Like I think I hear your step. Uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, le vent. So, uh, so the French was a little bit off there. Le vent m'a porté, like the wind blows. Le vent m'a porté. De bruyletin, and I didn't get that one right. I've been practicing that one so long, that one's really hard. De bruyletin, it's like I hear like a discordant noise. J'écoute ma vente à porte, I listen to my door. J'écoute en vain, I listen in vain. Hélas, plus rien, plus rien, ma bien. Alas, like like I basically I get I get nothing, right? And then and then you go back to the like you know, but but despite all that, that like I'm waiting for you and I'm listening for the for your footsteps in the door, but I hear nothing, I hear nothing. Then I get back to, but I will await you, right? You know, Jatendre, and like I mispronounced Jatendre. The last like that's last that's, that's when I came back to it, mispronounced the. I think I said Jaten. I think that, that, that it was a. I, it was like it's an a, and I used a different vowel sound there. I was like, ooh. Um, but and I really wanted to get a really I really wanted this emotional shape where where like Luke starts off in this space he's like feeling kind of maybe okay and he's doing this thing but I really get this like real sense of like longing and yearning was really important for me and then during the little inter instrumental intermission between the first verse and the that sort of bridge part he starts gets sort of gets insecure because he's like oh wait now I've got time to think about this and now I'm feeling a little bit nervous and then he does the thing where the French is where my French is the weakest and then it comes back in and so like basically I didn't get like the subtleties of shape that I wanted, some of my pronunciation was off. Uh, I messed up the line in that little section, like you know, uh, le fleur palisse, le jeu s'étend, le ombre se glisse, le jeu uh, de le jardin, l'orgetisse dans ses trélons. So that first part, like I messed that up, and I was like, oh. Uh, so yeah, there's just these all these little and like and that that starting off with the wrong melody for. Uh, Je tendrai, which is what I should have said, but I said the other one, and I was like, "Oh!" So it was very frustrating. Is all I'm trying to tell you. I was frustrated, um, and I was really like, I was really trying to, I really wanted to get, because I really wanted to get, because you know, it was really, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was rough. I'm just going to tell you, and also, um, it, you know, I was sitting down, so that's a little bit tricky, but, 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 but. Uh, so, I admit a lot of that intro extra problem on the internet is a rejection of the perceived set of preferences for, to extroverts, particularly in the fields of group dynamics and psychological leadership personality issues. Uh, uh like uh, yeah, it's like the half nose rise. Yeah, that's that, that was the problem because it's it's supposed to be and it's actually it's a, it's a different it's a different sweep to it, right? So it should go Jatandre Parada, which lets, it's like and like going going down like that like. Ba -da -da, lets you like sweep in, but the second one is but rather than ba -da -da, ba -da -da, so it's like it's like a, it's like it, it's like just a different sweep that throws the whole thing off. Um, yeah, Ice Bunny says for me, energy vampirism has not much to do with extroverts, more with small-minded people who have the boxes in their mind they put people in, and, and I will and will ever fit into. Oh yeah, for me, energy, uh, there's a. Yeah, the, the melody of manners more than it would. Yeah, no, it really does. That, that whole like middle section has this really weird melody that just like, like it took me a while to get it because it is a, such a weird, weird little melody. Um, why do I feel like Trevor was laying in bed at 4 a.m. singing to himself and he was happy with it? I was. I was also wanting to memorize it, so I was singing in a language I don't know. So I was singing it in the shower. I was like singing it all over the place. And my mistake was because right before we started the stream, I had to tell the players a bunch of stuff. I, I basically had a bunch of stuff to tell them. Like we meet uh, a half hour before the stream starts um, is when the, our call starts. So like game starts at seven, we meet at 6.30. I start doing tech at six. And at 6.30, I had a bunch of stuff to tell them about like um, text, uh, you know, just basically like, hey, uh, here are the new rules we're using. Uh, here's the thing you need to know about this. This is how this works. So it's gonna be a bunch of stuff. So I didn't have, I didn't have time to listen to the song right before stream started. and. I should have pushed the song off until after break so I could have listened to it during break, but I wanted to end the break on it so that we could then start with something different, and that's just what happened. Just what happened. Um, um, what's interesting, though, is that I was... Prax, I have a question about this. Um, I have a question about this idea of group dynamics and leadership personalities. I have a question about that. Um, uh, 
Cam, uh, Camsey says, so much attention to detail is given to this piece, considering how much you can explain where you have your difficulties in performing the song group. Well, I mean, because I really, because like the thing is, it's a performance, right? It's just like, I wanted to like, I wanted to make sure, like I when I studied, like, okay, how do you translate this, right? How do you translate this into English? What is each moment? So if I'm saying that this is like, because that last line, eh, let's plus rien, plus rien, ma bien, that's like, the, like, alas, you know, they give me nothing, they give me nothing at all. And I was like, okay, I need to make sure I hit that right. I, I want it to, like, even if you don't speak the language, which I don't, I want it to come across. I want the emotion to come across and I want the subtlety of it to come across. Like that's important to me. Um, I can see how this song can remind Luke of daddy too. Yes, right? So like, and, the, and it was also this thing, right? That I wanted to sort of like, I know this is like this really subtle small thing, right? Where, um, where Luke is singing it because he wants to sing this romantic song to this girl that he likes, right? Like, oh, like I'm longing for you. But like, as he's singing it, right? There's this moment where he's like realizing it's actually about like him waiting for his father and his father not coming back. And it's not, and it, there's a moment where it kind of shifts and is not a romantic song. And so I kind of wanted to be able to get like some of those um, subtleties in there. And I was like, and because I got thrown off the beginning, I feel like I just didn't give the right performance where I could get like the real, like I felt like the emotional core could have been better in that song. Like I felt like I sang it, there were some mess ups, but I feel like the most important thing I didn't get that I really wanted to get was like the emotional shape of the song. And I, I was I was disappointed in myself for that one. I was like, I'm disappointed in that one because I feel like I could have done that better. And I felt like I, I was, um, that I missed that. By the way, since we're, we're gonna play a game right now, but we're gonna play uh, something different uh, that, we're gonna play something. We're, I'm gonna have to change the the thing because we're clearly doing something different. We're gonna play something on the on Steam that will be decent, and I think we're gonna do. Mm. You know what we're gonna do? I think we're gonna do something. Maybe we, maybe we'll do like I feel like we should do something. That we can play a little bit, chat a bit, have a nice time. And then I, we can come back to the uh, Outer Worlds next week once I get this fixed. I feel like we should do Mini Metro. Mini Metro, I feel like, is super chill. And uh, we do Mini Metro. And uh, yeah, like we'll, ch we'll do all the chatting because Mini Metro is like super zen. And it's not an ongoing story. So if I don't play it next week, because we'll be playing the PS4, we'll be fine. So this is what we're gonna play Mini Metro is what we're gonna do. Let me um, let me switch my controllers so that I have the one that I use for this one. And I think this is this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. So I still have a question about like the perceived um, preference for extroverts, and I have a question about that. Uh, this is what I have a question about. And this, because this, because this is the thing, right? Because all my introverts, all the introvert people who are like really into it, they're like basically we're an oppressed minority, and we are, you know, like it's it's all so bad. So, but I have a question about that. So, yeah, I I still I'm still very very um, maybe I don't use a controller in this one. Maybe I don't. Maybe this is actually just a keyboard one. Is that what it is? Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh. You know what I was gonna do? I forgot, I was gonna change my thing. I have to change, I've gotta edit the stream info. Uh, let's see, we are doing um, Mac gaming. And let me change it, Mac gaming, uh, mini metro. And then after the PS play program died, we play a chill mini metro. Although, I don't know how chill it will be because mini metro can be very stressful, which is exciting. I, I come into it. Uh, I mean, you know, mini metro. Perfect. Boom. Okay. Done. Updated. We're into it. Uh, so there's an entire school of thought created by using Myers-Briggs personality tests in an employment leadership that is based to, biased towards those who are natural extroverts. Ah, uh, and from that, people who experience more introvert introvertistic tendencies are looking for somewhere to express an upset that won't harm their employment. Mm. So let me ask a, a further question about that if we're not talking about Myers-Briggs though. This is what I'm gonna say. Um, so there was a question about uh, 
Z Z uh, uh, Xander Slamilton, French 1930s career style, right? Yep. I feel like so much of French melody in that time was way more punctuated and decorative than necessarily smooth and lyrical. I do not envy you singing that style in French. Yeah, because I was I was modeling myself after, um, so Jean Sablon is like really famous and he did it, but um, Tino Rossi did a version who was also like, Tino Rossi I think was being more of like a, a sweet crooner, whereas Jean Sablon was a little bit more in my uh, in my vocal range. Because Tina Rossi is like Tina Rossi when he's saying it, he's like, um, I, uh, he's like a. <clears throat> if I can do Tina Rossi, he's like. Like he's super up there. Like he's like there's a particular style of early twenties crooner that's like super super up there. And I was like, yeah, I'm not getting up there. But I was taking all of his styling. And there's a real sort of like, you know, uh, but. Jean Sablon was a bit more in my range, so I was listening to him quite a lot, but he was using alternate lyrics, so that was becoming distracting. Anyway, so I was like modeling, like there's these little things like, um, and I kept trying to get like, uh, so, J'attendrai le jour et la nuit, j'attendrai toujours ton retour. And this one line here, j'attendrai car l'oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli here. Uh, right there, right? See, uh, bien cherché l'oubli dans son i. Right, so there's this, there's this kind of like real sort of like sighing, falling into notes that was really popular in the Korean style in general in the in the twenties and early thirties. A real sort of like like everything's a sigh, like everything is just like oh, and I'm just sort of like collapsing into these notes and then sliding out of them. And I re and I throw these little moments, and then of course little things like um. Uh, these like little like these little uh, little micro inflections that'll come in there like little uh, little filigree and I wanted to make sure I could get all of those in to really get that style um, uh, uh, le temps passe encore un baton tristement dans un coeur salou et pourtant J'attendrai ton retour. Right, like I really wanted to get some of those like micro little bits that really put you in that 1930s style. So I had been, uh, but I will also note that I only decided that I only decided that Luke might sing like two days ago, two three days ago. So I spent the last two or three days. Um, I'm also going to. Um, I really feel like. I really feel like there was a. Uh, hello. Um, I really, really, okay, I've not done Seoul, so we're in Sao Paulo. Let's do Sao Paulo, shall we? Um, I really feel like there was a, a, oh, okay, hold on. I really feel like, um, so, uh, when I started, um, I was like, oh, I think that, I think that, oh, I will tell you the thought process, because I will tell you. Um, did you get help from JF? No, I just listen to music. Oh, I just listen to pieces over and over and over. And there are not many of us who do French. It was, oh, no, I am a perfectionist. That is true. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Void Smoker. Thank you. I, 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 I do. Yeah. The emotion definitely came across. I understood not a word, but the emotions don't. Yeah. But I, but I want, yeah, yeah. I just feel like it could have been better. Uh, I just feel like it could have been better. Um, so... No, I'm playing the game right here. We are. This the game is like totally even here. Uh, it's totally here. Oh, oh, Kamsi, you're going. Oh, see, oh, come by our Discord. Say hi to us. It was really good to have you here. Um, yes. Um, let's see. So where we are, Discord. Yes. All right. Um, and resistance major change. Uh, I stayed up until three. I'm looking at French language songs. Found a bunch, but they were covers from. Yeah. So that was always really tricky. Um, for people further along the spectrum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In honor to singings, should he work on the Parisian Railway? Oh, yes. 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 Let's restart. No. I want to go to uh, menu. If there's a Paris, we're going to do Paris. Yes. Let's see. San Francisco. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, no. Wait. Play. There is a Paris. We're going to Paris. We're going to Paris. That's what we're doing. Yes. Um, <laughs> Mimitru, I have this game. Yeah, no, there's something very, here, we're gonna do Paris. We're doing Paris because I feel like that's relevant. Um, so 
I decided two or three days ago, because like I always like think like, what is going to happen? So if you don't know how this game works, um, we have to try to connect. We have to make a metro a metro map and make sure everybody gets to be where they need to be. Uh, and as the game progresses, there's just going to be just more and more people. We've got to make lines to get there. Right now, we have three trains and three lines available to us. And I'm going to see where we go. Um, so hold on now. I can't even remember what the controls are. I feel that was it. No. Yeah, that's fast. Okay. So, uh, so uh, what happened was I was like, oh, what's going to happen with Luke? What's happening with him? And I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about the fact that he was like, um, um, hanging out with these Zazus and and how he might want to sort of like impress them. And I was like, oh, you know what I think he might do? I think he might. I'm thinking he might sing a song, right? Because what I was thinking about. This is what I was thinking about. Is that. Uh, this the last game was Friday night. The game before was Thursday night, and I need to zoom out. How do I zoom out? What is my zoom out? Nope, that wasn't it. Zoom out, people. Oh, maybe I can't zoom out. I bet I can't. I bet they just zoom out for me. So um, I knew that the Thursday night, the night before in game, all of the player characters were just not at the bar. Oscar was off delivering Jeanette. Um, Tango was uh, making was out all night making forged uh, documentation and um, Sylvie and Regina were off picking up radios. So like the bar was completely empty that night. And I also know that means that, that means it was only Luke and Charlie at the bar the night before. And I was like, okay, so I know that when Sylvie's not there, she has made Luke sing. So that means that Luke has been singing at the bar for the last couple of months, just on and off whenever Sylvie's not there, which is probably, you know, sometimes cause she sometimes, uh, gets drunk. So I was like, okay, so he's singing Friday night, a uh, Thursday night. Let me think what's going on. Like, what does that mean for him? What's going on? So I was like thinking about it and I was thinking, um, all right, he's been hanging out with these jazz kids. He's younger than they are, but like, you know, like two to four years younger than them that he has a chance to sing means that he's probably going to want to impress them and invite them to come to the bar. So it's like, okay, so he's going to invite them to come to the bar, but he clearly has a crush on somebody there. Oh, Hey, I have a new locomotive. This game is perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's take some tunnels because we're going to need that. Um, also, I have a question. Like, how in the world? I feel like there's maybe I. Oop. I want to just. How do I know? Well, I suppose it's fine. I just am concerned that things are going to pop up and I'm not seeing them. That's just my concern. That's it. I just want you to know that I'm concerned about it. Because uh, what if they do? Uh, what if they do? Um, let's see. So then I was like, okay, so he's gonna invite the he's gonna invite the gang to his to his home for the first time, right? And then the girl he likes is not gonna show up. All the rest of them are gonna come, but they're not gonna show up. But he's gonna have this sort of really great night. Here we go. Let's just do this for the moment. But he's going to have this really great night uh, with his friends, but they weren't there. And and what I thought was like, okay, so he wants like, okay, we're having a bit of a problem right now. Let's see what we can do about this. What can we do about this problem? Uh, okay. Um, so I figured that he was like, maybe maybe tomorrow night, but when he gets home after this sort of great night on Thursday night, his dad's there, there's a big fight, he gets beat up, he runs away, he sleeps in an alley, but he's all messed up and he looks terrible and he's like, I can't, like, I can't see her looking like this, I can't go to the bar looking like this, so he kind of just stays in that alley, um, too afraid to approach her, not knowing what to do, um, knowing that she was maybe gonna come that night, but but now he's all messed up and so then they they rescue me he decides to go so it's like but i was like okay so i think this is what's going to happen um i don't know if we're going to get an opportunity because i don't know what's going to happen with them they might just put him on lockdown and he won't be able to go out um but if he does i need to sing a song so i just started scouring songs from the late 30s that i thought would be would work for him um and i thought okay i feel like luke he's like 16 17 i think he's gonna do a crooner song Right, I was like, okay, he'll do a crooner song. And I was like looking for a bunch of songs. I was like, I want something that will like evoke a kind of a melancholy, um, maybe, but like, and so what I was doing, I was actually practicing um, Melancholy Baby uh, by Al Boley and um, 
Um, first off, let me fix this. We've got a problem here. Um, we have a problem. Let's reorganize this. Nope. Um, I want to take... No, no, let's... Let's move this... How are we going to do this? You know what? I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'll do that. And then this... I'll have go here. And then maybe here. But they don't have any... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, I think this will solve our problem, one hopes. Yes. Okay. Um, that's still, that circle over there is a bit of a problem still, so I need to think about that. Oh, thanks. So a new automotive. Um, let's take a an interchange for a moment. This, that, that circle's a problem. That circle's a problem, and I'm going to have to think about that. Um, yeah. So, um... You know what? What I'm going to do right now is I really need a carriage is what I need, I think. But I'm going to just put uh, another train car there and hope that will fix some of our problems for the moment. It looks like it does. Uh, feeling good about it. Um, so I was doing a melancholy baby and here we go. All right, then. So let's take this one up here. What I really need to be doing is doing some circles, but we'll get there, I think, a little bit later. So I was going to do Melancholy Baby. Uh, and that one's in English, and that's, you know, uh, um, Come, sweetheart mine, don't sit and pine. Tell me all the things that make you feel so blue. What have I done? Answer me, hun. Would I ever say an unkind? Would I ever say an unkind thing to you? Uh, my heart is true, and just for you, I would do anything at any time. Um, some ba da da da, sa da da da. Something, 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 this, this very hard. Oh, like, but like, like when you sigh, then something breaks this very heart of mine. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't feel blue. Um, uh, uh, something, you know, foolish fancy maybe don't you know that I'm in love with you right so it's like there was that one I was like okay that that could be like so it's like practicing melancholy baby and I was like oh that's that's good but lyrically it wasn't exactly what I wanted it was a little bit like the lyrics were not just uh um oh wait 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 politics are totally fine uh Adonis Nimbus politics are fine um I I I'm not I'm not actually I I don't have a rule about being political in chat just uh so basically, you can be political all you want because basically life is political. You can never not be political. It's just uh, be thoughtful, be nuanced, be kind, right? So like, just think about that. Like when you're making an argument, like like basically what I want to say is like, like random political rants that don't add to the conversation is less exciting to me. But like uh, having a conversation where you're being thoughtful and you're listening and you're speaking, that's that's perfect. Like I think that is what I like. Um, would that be a song you would? Yes, it would be. That would be a song I'd use. Uh, Melancholy Baby would be totally a megaphone song, without without a question. Um, I should, yeah, no, like just basically, like we like we can have a conversation, and actually, not only can we, but I think we should. It's just that we should be, and it's not even just about like civility. It's about thoughtfulness. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what it's about. Um, like I think that like I actually, and I actually think polit politics are really important, but I also think it's important to. Um, know the purpose of your speech use your speech deliberately that's what i'm going to say i've only seen the american debates uh, the, uh through reading about it because i don't want to start... yeah so for me could this by the way this circle here is going to be a problem and i'm not quite certain what we're going to do about that i mean the easiest thing would be to pull this down here but i don't know if that's going to work out for us but we will see how that goes uh so we need so so now i need to decide more traffic lovers or more recruit song through oh let's 
so so here's what happened, right? So it's like Melancholy Baby gave me the style that I wanted, right? Because this is like, it's a, oh no, that's a problem. See, like I knew this was gonna be a problem. Um, I think I have an extra car. So let's, um, let's put this here and hopefully that will uh, not have us die and lose our lives. And I'm a little concerned about that circle over there. And I knew I should be okay. Okay, this is, you know, I need some things that I don't, oh, okay, Paris. Uh, little concerning over there at that circle. It's a little, a little concerning, little, little disconcerting. Uh, we need a carriage and we're gonna take this carriage and we're going to put it on this one. And hopefully that will take care of us. Something is wrong with our line. We need to make it more efficient. I don't yet know how to do that, but you know, I've got some concerns about how our Paris line is going. Um, just, just, just noting it. I mean, right now we're only using two lines, so we're kind of okay, but we do have to watch out because we don't get, we don't lose ourselves here. Um, yeah, so like, like Melancholy Baby is like a super early crooner song and you'd be like, you know, Come to me, my melancholy baby. Coddle up and don't feel blue. Uh, all your dreams are foolish fancy. All your fears are foolish fancy, maybe. I've got to get that triangle. Don't you know that I'm in love with you? Right, it's, so it's like, it's a perfect crooner song. It's really good, it's really, really good. But um, I was thinking about it and I was like, all right, let's take this, let's make a new line and let's go. Um, I think we can, we need to hit a circle. Let's go here, clearly. We also need to hit a square. So let's go here. Um, is there anything we can do to be more efficient or be more useful? I think not yet, so we'll just leave it and see how that goes. Um, so, so, let, 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 just keep our eye on this because right now our, our yellow line, you know, we're, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, so I was doing, uh, I was doing um, uh, Melancholy Baby, which is like a perfect, like I feel like it sounds like, I feel like Melancholy Baby sounds like Luke. I was like, oh, I think this, this like works for Luke. Uh, let's take tunnels. We have six tunnels already. So let's take a carriage because we might need it. And uh, again, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable with how full everything is. So let's take this carriage and put it on our green line. And let's, again, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, the first three in your time period. And of course I also, so, so then, so I was like, okay, I like it, but the, the, the lyrics are a little bit too romantic because, oh man, okay, hold on. We've got a lot of triangles and triangles are not always the best because we have too many of them. That's not great. It's not great. It's not great. And we don't have any extra, okay, we only have three lines, everyone. So this is not the best thing. Let's just link this triangle here. I don't like two triangles in a row. I think that's never really good. But you know what we could do? We could link this down here and that might give us a little bit of wiggle room. So let's see how that goes. How many Metro lines currently has been constructed in real life? That's a good, oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a problem. Yeah, too many triangles and other problems with trigonometry. We now have a problem. If you notice, um, you can see my cursor. Right down here, we have this hexagon and we're gonna get things that need to go to that hexagon. And I am concerned about how that is going to work. I have some concerns about that. I have some concerns. Let me pick this up. So. The next thing I thought was, I was like, you know what? I, let me copy link location. I thought, well, what I could do, because Melancholy Baby is like, it's the right sound, but it wasn't, I, the lyrics were not exactly, uh, Rena Ketty is with the other person, Rena Ketty, Jato Andre is the other person I was listening to. Um, and I was like, oh, this is not like, I was like, oh, I don't, mm, 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 mm. I was like, I don't know. I was like, the lyrics for Melancholy Baby are, they're, I just don't think they're just right. So it was like, okay. Also, um, Pentagon, Pentagon, thank you, Pentagon. You just reminded me that I've got to deal with this Pentagon. Let's, let's, so here's, here's my thought. What I think we should do is create two big loops and then a line that crosses through them. So why don't we, 
um, pull this out here. That's not super efficient. And then why don't we move this up here and then we change this one here to go from let's take this one off this triangle and move this here let's see if that works for us uh so yeah so they can get off one line so i feel like we have two lines going to the pentagon and crossing over and let's see if this is going to work for us if we're going to get into oh come on okay that's that's less ideal but we'll just do that uh and uh okay okay uh that oh you're right that's a brand new triangle that's a problem we have a triangle not on a line that's no good at all thank you we're gonna just move this we're gonna move this one off okay hold on we're gonna move this one off this triangle and move it to that triangle right that's what we're gonna do <laughs> you're making dc's metro stop yeah right let's okay so let's keep our eyes open on that one so then what so but here's the other thing i was thinking about right i was also thinking that would be what would be really good there's a problem right there uh how many extra trains do we have we have another train let's um let's put this train here um every line every cloud must have a silver line okay lining oh, oh gosh uh so like melancholy baby's really good drop off turn to the social distance visitor turn welcome back um we're, we're trying to deal with paris and i'm a little concerned about it because um yeah this is this is making me concerned okay we have a new okay well uh a new carriage is what we're going to need clearly all right so um i was what are we looking at right now where where are we at where are our problems where are our problems i think the yellow line doesn't have any carriages so let's give them a carriage and maybe that will help okay 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 uh oh gosh um mm, pause uh so uh, i do i have any more trains i have two more trains okay um yeah okay i'm gonna give it a couple seconds yeah okay so, okay wait, wait one's coming over there so that should take care of that one's going over there that's not doing well. Uh, we need to put a train here, I think. Uh, nope, we got a problem there too. We need to put a train car here. No! Oh! Okay, uh, okay, we've got a problem. Everybody, we're gonna have to put an exchange right here. This is not the best place for it, but we're gonna have to do that because if we do it, that'll give us a little bit more breathing room. Um, Atomica, I, I, th there's something wrong with my, the, the PS Play program that I'm using is not connecting to the PS4 right now for reasons I cannot explain. So we're doing, oh, uh, <clears throat> technical difficulties. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. We should be back to it next week because I want to do my, 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 uh, my, uh, matchmaking. What do I do about this? I feel like I'm in trouble. I feel like we're going to die right now because of this big triangle up here. And I, I'm very concerned. And also we've got a circle out here and, uh, uh, and I don't have any more resources right now. And all of these train cars are, uh, oh no. And we're gonna die right now. This is it, we died, oh my gosh. Uh, well, we got overcrowding at the station has forced your metro to close. We got 1,106 passengers. Uh, let's look at our, um, no, I want this. Let's see what our, what our, what our score is. Also, why does this look so weird? Like this is a, it's, it might look weird to you, but it also looks weird to me. I'm looking for, um, um, menu
because I feel like they should be able to see like my high score somewhere, right? I don't want to go into Paris. I just want to see my high score. No, that's not what I want. Give me a high score. Uh, no. We got trains, they're multiplying, Baron Tor, and I'm loo and we're losing control. But this power they're supplying. It's electrifying. Look, I wanna go to like one of the one of the like uh, the the further ones and we see. I know that we can get um um I do wanna know. I want you to see what it looks like when it's really miserable. Uh so just so you know, we're gonna just do this. It'll be great, um, and then we're gonna go on fast speed. Um, so let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. So I found a very popular song from the '30s, and she sings it mid to low range. Parlez-moi d'amour, speak to me of love, by Lucien Boyer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so there's, I think there's some function that lets you take two roots and merge them, so your two circles would become one giant loop. Oh, huh? You better rail up. Cause they need a train and the paths are made by you and the paths. Uh, so, but here's the thing I was thinking, I was thinking, I was like, okay, Melancholy Baby is the sound that I want for Luke. But what I was hoping to do was get a song that maybe might, um, because I knew he was thinking about killing his father. I didn't know if he would or not, but I knew that he was thinking about it. And I wanted some kind of a song that might like foreshadow the danger that he is currently in emotional danger right that like like some kind of song that like that he would sing to impress a girl but might also uh in the listener evoke that maybe there might be a problem right that's what i was thinking so this the next song that i thought about was bye bye blackbird let's get some tunnels was bye bye blackbird and and that one i thought was actually pretty good like so that one's like um you know uh, blackbird, blackbird, singing the blues all day, right outside of my door. Blackbird, blackbird, gotta be on my way, where there's sunshine galore. Pack up all my cares and woe, here I go, singing low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me. So like I was like, oh, like here's a song about like leaving. Like and the, the the little bridge part is like, no one here can love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make the bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight. Blackbird, bye bye. Right. So that one I was like, okay. Bye Bye Blackbird is kind of cool because it might evoke the sense that perhaps he might have some uh, unwise plans on his mind. So it's like, oh, Bye Bye Blackbird would be good. But the problem was Bye Bye Blackbird, A, is a little bit, it's not croonery, right? Like, um, I mean, like, there's like, I think I've heard some crooner versions of Bye Bye Blackbird that are like a little bit sweeter, a little bit slower. Um, Pack up all my cares and woe, here I go. Like early crooner, singing low. Bye, bye, Blackbird. So I have heard those styles. I was like, I could do that, but there was nothing on YouTube. None of the karaoke versions. I will tell you what, it's really hard to get karaoke versions of songs that are standards in an earlier style because they're almost always like late 40s, early 50s. It's like way too much Sinatra all the time. This, by the way, is a problem. We're going to just do this and we're going to see if that will help us because I hope it will uh, because that might be a problem. Uh, and... Oh yeah, Josephine Baker. Yes. Oh, um, but the problem is I couldn't find. How are we doing? I just died. I was. We're gonna restart this one. I'm sorry. We just died. I was like copying a link to put up on the browser, and while I was copying a link to put up in the browser, we died. So we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Is what we're gonna do. Like we just didn't even have that happen. It's not even. Didn't 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 happen. None of that. Uh, we're gonna just. Uh, by the way, you know, if if you notice me, um, uh, what happened? What happened over there? Um, let's go. No one here can love and understand me. And if I'd gotten the right, if I'd gotten the right karaoke version, I would have maybe done Bye Bye Blackbird. But all the versions that were out there. Oh, I want to know why my tabs are recap. Uh, like some of my tabs are crashing, and I don't. 
uh, in, I don't know why that is. Anyway, what I wanted was if I could have found a version of Bye Bye Blackbird that really sounded like that kind of early crooner sound that I was imagining Luke having, because I was like, oh, Luke is like, I imagine him having that kind of sweet sound. And um, if I could have found a version, then I would have maybe used Bye Bye Blackbird. But, and by the way, I just want you to know that I was practicing all of these other songs before I got to Jean Tendré. Uh, so I was practicing all these other songs and, um, and I was like, okay, but all the versions of Bye Bye Blackbird that I could find, uh, the karaoke version for were all like, you know, first off, they didn't have the opening uh, verse, they just had the refrain and that was not good because I wanted the context. And then they're all like, you know, pack up all my cares and woe, but uh, singing low, you know, uh, here I go. Swinging low, bye bye, blackbird, and they're all real fast and like boo boo. But I was like, no, 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 no. That's not. That is not the feeling I want to evoke in this performance. I really love the song. I think that lyrically it could work, but the tone of all the versions I found uh, online was was off. It was like the off tone. By the way, I hope chat is still okay. I hope you're okay because I had to refresh. I had to refresh my chat, so I lost all of the chat. That makes me sad. Um. Just let me know if you're okay. So that was no good. So I was like, okay, I like the lyrics for Bye Bye Blackbird, but I like this the, the mood of Melancholy Baby. Thank you, thank you, Scabby Knack. So what do I do? So then I went to like the third, I went to the third song, which was, um, uh, have you ever seen a dream walking? I was like, I went back to like my early crooner stuff and I was like, okay, maybe have you ever seen a dream walking will work. So I started practicing that one. You know, I found a version that I could do, and I was like, okay, you know, have you ever seen a dream walking? Well, I did. Have you ever seen a dream talking? Well, I did. Have you ever seen heaven right in your arms saying, I love you, I do? Well, the dream that was walking and the dream that was talking and the heaven in my arms was you, right? So I was like, okay, that again, it gets the right mood, but the lyrics don't, the lyrics weren't working for me because those, that's just like a, a romantic song. And while Luke is in a romantic space, I really wanted to get some kind of foreshadowing or some kind of like, I wanted the song to work symbolically as well as sort of like in a, mer a meta way. Let's get a carriage and speed this up. Uh, oh, good. I know I did my poor Metro writers, but let's, let's hope this works out. Um, dream a little dream would sound great in French. Oh yeah. But okay, so here's me the problem with that, Cole Drake. Can you find a version that's not the Mamas and Papas version? And what ends up happening is that when you get these songs that are standards from the 20s and 30s, and then they get remade later, when you find the karaoke version online, it's almost always the later version. So that's really frustrating. So I was like sitting there, uh, Dream a Little Dream is good. That's a good one. I have to see if I can, I have to see if I can find a version that will, that will work. Anyway, so I was stressed out and I was like, what am I gonna do? And I was like, you know what? I should just sing a song in French. That's what I should do. I, I'm gonna just find a really good, uh, because it's you know it's set in France anyway, and we and we don't have JF anymore, and so we we need, we have a distinct lack of Frenchness in our life at this moment. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna find a song in French. So I start looking up, and because I, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I teach. Okay, mm, we'll see how this goes. Our, our train right now. It could be okay. I feel like what I really, okay, what I really want to do is actually um, do something slightly different, but let's get a new line. I feel like we're going to need it. What we're going to do, because it's not a loop, and this lack of a loop is causing me a little bit of agita, why don't I do this? This is not efficient. It's not efficient use of lines right now, but we don't have a lot, so I feel like we can do this at the moment. I feel like it'll be okay. Um, maybe the thing is, here's the thing, Coldrick, it's all about if I can get the file, if I can get a, a version without l l uh, lyrics. So anyway, I'm thinking, let me get some French songs. And here we go. All right. So let's now do this and do that. And this will be a problem here. So then we do that. And this will be our life. And I think we'll be fine. Uh, so, um... I was like, ah, oh, yeah, no. So yeah, so I teach, but one of the classes I teach, by the way, is um, the International Jazz Age. So I teach a class which is basically, uh, yes, Edith Piaf also did a version. I, uh, I basically teach uh, basically jazz, popular music jazz from 1920, 
1924 to 1933, like 1920 to 1935, 1920, 1935. But, okay, well, I'm not liking this. Uh, let's get a carriage. Uh, what, okay, well, uh, am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna be okay? We're not, this is not an efficient line right now. I want you to know it. And I I feel a little disconcerted about how things are happening. Uh, there is a button on that linked page of English lyric that says you play the entire song on Apple Music. Oh. oh, hold on, sorry. I was like, I wasn't paying attention and we have a problem right here. So let's do that. Sorry, I was like, we almost died because I was thinking about, uh, 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 gosh, okay, sorry. I was like, oh, mm. okay, 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 we're not gonna die, it's good. Uh, yeah, I think Dream a Little Dream would be good. I think it would be good. So anyway, I was like, let me go find some French songs. And I teach this class on the, the international jazz age, which means I've got a bunch of French jazz from the 1930s. Um, and I'm writing this down, by the way, Dream a Little Dream. So like, you know, I was like, let me go through, and I was like, okay, I want a really good, like, Edith Piaf is is the wrong vibe for Luke. Like, Edith Piaf is, like, really quite strident. Uh, no, Marion, you know, it's like, you know, uh, great. But I was like, that's not going to work it for him. I was like, so I need somebody who's, like, I need a really good crooner song. I need something that will be, like, sweet, melancholy to sort of evoke the fact that he's really on the edge emotionally and could make some very poor choices. Uh like a little bit of that, uh, something that is still romantic that he would still choose. Um, do I need another line? I will take a uh, carriage. So I was like, you know, I was trying to like figure this out. And um, also I do not like where we're at with our line. I think it's not efficient and I feel like we're gonna die, but we're not dying yet. So I suppose we're fine. But so we'll just, we'll just, count ourselves lucky at the moment. But again, you know, like, I, I don't like how that's, like, well, that's fine. So anyway, I was just going through all my pieces and I was like, okay, well, uh, I was, first I started looking at Maurice Chevalier, uh, but the problem with Maurice Chevalier is that Chevalier is very, very much um, a late style crooner, um, even though he's like at the same time period as everybody else, but he's got that real kind of um, uh, late style crooner um, swagger. Right, like the the being like. Uh, I never finished this talk last time we were on stream together. The crooners talk. I didn't finish it, and now I clearly have to. I will finish that thought anyway. Maurice Chevalier, wrong vibe. Maurice Chevalier is very clearly um, has the has the very clearly the late the late crooner style, and that late crooner style is not what I wanted for for Luke because I think that Luke is. Uh, I think that Luke, so here's what I think. This Okay, and once I actually explain what I'm talking about, you're gonna know a little bit better what I mean, but Luke imagines himself a late style crooner, but he's really an early style crooner, right? Like he, he like his inner soul is an early style crooner, but the way he would imagine himself is a late style crooner. Like when he thinks, like he thinks of himself as like, he's like badass, he's like, he's in a gang, he'll punch people in the face. He could totally kill his dad. Like he, he could do that. Like he's not afraid, you know what I mean? Like there's like I think that the that you know our our Luke, our young Luke wants to think of or has you know has wanted to think of himself in this kind of badass sort of a way where he's like, uh, and but I wanted to get this moment where despite his thoughts of himself as being so hardcore, when he comes to actually sing, we can talk about music, American musicals for a moment. When he actually comes time for him to sing what comes out is the fact that he's got this sort of like a uh, uh well he thinks he's late sinatra but he's really early sinatra or he he thinks he's being crosby but he's really you know gene austin um and but that, and that's the kind of like the inner the inner vulnerability comes out when he sings so i really didn't want and like and maurice chevalier is a little bit like a little his songs uh, um let me put it this way Let's see what we need. We probably need more carriages or we need something because something is not, we probably need more lines. It's, I mean, it's just, this is, there's stuff going on here and it's not good for us. And I'm very concerned about how that's gonna go. So let's, um, 
Let's see if adding another line will help um, in some kind of a way. I mean, I hope it will because this is not, and like that down there is not looking good and I don't like what's happening in any way. So um, like, this is like, this is uh, not great. This is not great. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Well, hold on. Ooh, hold on. Okay. No, Whoa. no, um, we have got some problems. We've got some problems right now. I just, I just want you to know it. Yes. Prax, see, Prax has got it. He thinks he's Frank. And he's really Fred Astaire. That is exactly, exa Prax, Prax knows what I'm talking about. Prax has got it. Um, yes, that, hello Fiddler Omega. Um, yes, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. I just got chat with a poor customer service guy working the Sprint website and I think I'm them. Oh no. Um, we, we need to do a little bit of emergency maintenance right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a train car right here. Uh, we're gonna hope that's gonna take, and it is not. So we okay. Well, what is what is what is going on here? Where where are our problems? Okay, we need to put another train right here uh, with a carriage because there are a lot of circles there that are not that, that are. We're gonna yeah. Okay, so okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Wait, wait. Uh, oh gosh, we lost it. I don't. Oh, dang it. We only got 758 people. We're going back. We're going back in there. We're going to... We're not going to die this time. Don't let me die, everybody. Chat, don't let me die. If I look at you and you see that I'm going to die, you have to let me know. So then I just don't die. That's 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 it. Um, I have to call Vaughn's customer service today. I'm not looking forward to it. Ugh. So basically, I was like, Marie Chevalier is out. Like, Marie Chevalier is no good. Uh, and I was like, okay, well... And I listened to some Edith Piaf, and I was like, mm. And I was like, okay, Jean Sablon might work, um, depending on when in Jean Sablon's career. Uh, and, like, early Marie Chevalier was, like, doing a lot of... Oh, I was going to tell you about Marie Chevalier. Early, uh, early Marie Chevalier was doing a lot of, like, really hot jazz. Uh, like, um, uh, like, there's, like, a Charleston song he does that's really good. Um, uh... Charleston, Charleston, but no, 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 Charleston, Charleston, right? So like, like something that I, I could imagine that Luke would sing, but um, would be way too fast for the moment, because like, because remember, I wanted, I had an effect that I wanted from this piece, that I wanted it to evoke something about his inner turmoil, as well as being a song that he was singing that he wanted to try to impress friend, his, uh, impress his friends with. We can stop you from dying. I see a setting for a creative mode. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and so I was like, okay, let's just take another. Ooh, uh, let's take another carriage because we don't have any. We'll we'll go there. Uh, all the permission for what they call a jazz hot. Yeah, oh yeah. So it's like, so it's like okay. So, oh, if you don't know who Marie Chevalier is, which you may not, which no judgment if you don't. If you do not know Marie Chevalier, he is who Pepe Le Pew was uh, modeled off after, which is not really fair to Marie Chevalier, but um. Uh, but he was, right? So, um, Maurice Chevalier, uh, would sing, Every little breeze seems to whisper Louise. Birds in the trees seem to twitter Louise, right? So, uh, mm, I'm not enjoying where we are right now. Um, I feel like we're in a bad space. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, carriage. Yep, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, okay. Not good enough. So let's, uh, let's put a carriage on this blue line. Right? Right there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hey, it looks promising. You can download $10 and get a C for 15 with songs, uh, La Vie Parisienne. I, I might have that CD. I'll have to see because I have a lot of CDs about French. Surprise, surprise. I have a lot of CDs about French, uh, French jazz, German jazz, uh, also like jazz music propaganda. I need more carriages. I got a lot of songs. I might have that one. I also have like Café en Paris. I've got a bunch of that stuff. Anyway, let's see where we're going. Um, so Marie Chevalier was not going to work. Jean Sablon might work. And I was thinking maybe Tino Rossi, who's, who's, uh, was like a, an Italian crooner, very sweet sound. And um, so I just basically just did a lot of listening and then I found Jatan Doré and I was like, that's the song. This is the song for Luke because it's, A, it's in French, so I can like 
honor because we have like we have some French speaking viewers who watch the show. I hope they're not too embarrassed. Uh, but especially William, who is so great, and um, I am not excited about. I mean, we're not dead yet, so I suppose we're fine, right? I mean, I don't. Mm, you know, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put one more train on this little blue line, going the opposite direction, because I think even though it's really small. So what I'm noticing about this, oh gosh, what I'm noticing about this particular station is that even though there are not a lot of stations here, it's super dense. We're getting a lot of people in these stations. And so um, like everything is filling up. Okay, ah, uh, okay. Let's put one more carriage on this blue one here because uh, I mean, like, this is, what's amazing, I've done these, I've done some of these before with these huge, huge, sprawling, sprawling lines that go everywhere and across rivers and all of that, but um, at the moment, our problem is that it's just so dense. Uh, I was also thinking about uh, Charles Trenet, I was looking at La Mer, um, and, oh, thank you, thank you for putting that, the link in the Discord, thank you, Cole Drake, and I was looking at Charles Trenet, I was thinking about La Mer, and I was like, just, I was like spending a lot of time trying to think what to do, I finally got Jatons Ray, and then I had like a two days, two days to learn how to pronounce this in French, memorize it enough that I can perform it, and then try to work hard enough to get like emotional nuance. Anyway, I was very busy the last two days is all I'm trying to tell you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Rissa. Yeah, I was, I was, um, I was very busy in the last two days stressing about getting the pronunciation right, getting the, getting the subtlety of emotions right, um, but, and then I didn't even know if it was going to happen because it was a very, it would be very entirely possible that, uh, Regina's like, yeah, yeah, you're not going anywhere, uh, because yeah, you're not going anywhere. It's too dangerous. And, but it happened. So it was good. But and if it didn't happen, like it would maybe happen later, but I really wanted to get like a moment to maybe give like a little bit of a, a warning that, he was not in a good way. Yeah, yeah, and it was in like I they all they all did like added aspects to him so he could like you know like they they all gave him all these really great free invokes so he could like pull that off because his singing is like it's like it's like at a two. It's okay, it's not great. Um he's you know, he's okay. Uh he's not quite at their level and um and i was like oh i hope it'll be okay and then it was like really amazing let's see what we're, what are we gonna do here let us this is a bit of a problem everyone yeah thank you yes yeah, so it was like anyway i that was good i need to i need to ask uh rocket fox if she i need to give her i need to give rocket fox some suggestions i think she should sing some josephine baker um I need to give her some like good, and then I was really worried. Like, like what if, uh, what if like YouTube mutes this video, uh, like this section? But I was like, I hope they wouldn't, because it's like karaoke. I was like, I don't know. We'll, we will see what happens. All right, look, we've got a problem here, everybody. We've got this triangle here out in the middle of nowhere, and if we go from tri triangle to triangle, that's going to be really bad. And I, but I also feel like this right here is not efficient. But let's try this and see if this will, because like we just, oh gosh. Um, let's take another line. Uh, okay. Um, oh gosh. Okay, let's put a carriage right over here. Um, this triangle here is a problem. This triangle is a problem because it keeps getting full up. Let's... I don't like doing two triangles in a row. I don't like it. It ends up being bad. But I don't know what... It, I mean... Well, like we've packed that little center blue line and I don't know what else we can do about that right now because we just, it's the circles. You know, this is the problem. The problem is that we have only one circle line and we're getting a lot of circles. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to extend this triangle down. I, line, I'm going to do double triangle and maybe that will, because look at all, oh gosh. Yeah, no, we have a problem right there as well, over that red line. There's just too many circles. 
Yes, yeah, too many circles. And I don't know. I don't like. Oh gosh. Anyway, hey Metro, how are you doing? This this level, people. This is uh, we. Oh gosh. Um. Hmm. I didn't do any radio today, but I did. <sighs> Let's uh, do that. Mm, uh, ooh, uh, no, oh gosh. Uh, whew. Yeah, mass transit explosion. So some some of these maps are really quite large, but this one's so tight. Okay, all right. Um, we're going to. Why? Why is it always circles with you? Uh, let's put this here. We have we're gonna have like eight million cars on this one little track, and I feel like that's not uh, uh, efficient. Oh, come, no, come on, just uh, something. Uh, no, oh gosh. Hi, Kitchen Bratlin. Uh, can I order you to give Vive la Resistance for next week? No, you gotta wait. Um, you gotta wait. Um, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should extend this down to the star as well. Um, I've, it's on pause, by the way, at the moment, because um, I don't know what we're going to do right now. I'm very concerned about this. I'm very concerned about this. Is there a way to take the red end of the line on the right and extend out up the up to the river? Um, so do you want to do you want us to take you can see my do you want us to take it to this one? or link the red route to the... Well, actually, they are linked right here on the square. That's where they are. They are linked that way. Um, I could instead... Now, the problem is we've got these right here, and I feel like this is... I feel like we're going to lose right now. So we could do this and make one overline, and then we could take this green and make an underline like that. Uh, and then everything's going through there. Uh, True doesn't my fate points ever, so you only have me about during the stream. N oh no! But yeah. Oh, hey, we got over a thousand though. We we got over a thousand. That's really good. I would like to know what our high score is. Did we beat our high score? Total trips. Waiting time, use capacity. Like, there is a way to figure out what our high score is. <laughs> I was two minutes late and all the London Moscow fate points were gone. I, tr like, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do was, what I wanted to do was, um, I basically am, okay, look, how do I know what my high score was? Because I want to know what my high score was. Let's go to menu. Hey, we unlocked Soul though. So, oh, this is, oh, okay, manage the busy Sao Paulo network of a small number of teaming stations. That's what that was. That's what that was. You know what, let's do, uh, let's do Seoul. Let's do Seoul. We, we got over a thousand on Sao Paulo. That's my goal, is to get over a thousand. And if we get over a thousand, I think we're, we're golden. So let's do, um, let's do Seoul, which we have to go across the Han River, which will probably be very difficult because we've got rivers, which means we need bridges or tunnels we need tunnels so this will probably be a problem for us and we'll just see we want it our goal is to get a thousand that's where our goal is um so we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we'll do this i don't like it right now but we'll keep it for there um technically there was an issue where the comments were open land was not so they filled up first yeah moscow pit should be more expensive Justification by Nazis it, it, directly is harder, and the support has further to go. You know, Krillin, that's a good idea. Also, Moscow's farther away. I like that. I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make the Moscow points more expensive uh, because Krillin, that's a really good idea. And also, London also has the support of the United States with lend lease. I like that idea, Krillin. It's really good. I'm gonna make them 10k. Um, he starts when 
I will always be tied up in the household, so I'll never get to bite. Uh, and Moscow's less supportive. Yeah, so I think all that's actually really good. So I think the, the question that I had was, and I would love your advice on this, y'all. Um, I don't know how I feel about this right now. I really, it's really never good to have two things in a row. Let's get more tunnels. Um, so here's the question I have for you all. It's about when do when I when I open up the uh, the fate points. Do I open them up when the stream goes live, which is normally what I do, which means you get like five or so minutes before stream before we come up, or do I open them up when we come up? Do you know what I mean? Like, do I do it when we're when we're in the break screen, or do I do it? when uh, I give the intro. That's the question. Uh, this is this is the question. Yeah, well, I mean, once we get a really good new, um, once we get a really good new group, group goal, we'll do it. But it has to be, it has to be, it has to be right. Uh, it has to be right. Intro feels more dramatic. So here are the pros and cons. Pros, at the intro feels more dramatic. Cons, people who can only show up the very, very early part would miss out. But on the other hand, people who get in late would miss out. So like, I basically am a little, let's do another line before we do more tunnels. Um, yes, yes. Those group goals can never be more than 2K person stream apparently, oh. Huh. Huh. They can never be more than 2k per person per stream. I have to think about that for managing how long to make those things go. Okay, look, people, we have three circles in a row, and that's really no good. Um, let's... We'll just extend this one out for the moment. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got 72k, probably mostly because of the time, this one time this season I bought all four. Um, how did he get the London thing? Uh, how did he get the London thing go to 5k? Oh no, those are different. There's a difference between, um, there's like, there are two different things you can do. Um, there's like a, a group, there's like a, hold on, I can tell you what it's called. Um, indiv thank you, Krellen. You, you, you've given me words. Let's do, uh, can I get, no, apparently not. Uh, let's get another, let's get more tunnels and then let's make more lines. I don't like, yeah, individual words can be any price, but then community goals. And for the community goals, I really only want, I really want them to make sense in game and be something like those radios were really hard were, would have been hard for London to deliver, right? Like it's like a big deal and it makes sense for that to be a community goal because I think those of the radios were actually really difficult. And also uh, the reason why I thought that the community goal for the radios was so good was because, um, how do I put this? Also, I need to do something with this right now and how am I gonna do it? Uh, I am going to, I do not like this green line. I don't like how it's going. I don't like what's happening with it. I feel like it's bad. So why don't I make a new line that goes across here like that? And why don't I make a huge loop like this? Why don't I do that? That's what I'll do. I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm doing. However, I... Nope, okay, so then we're going to put this train car here so that hopefully there's no death. And, okay, well, that's, that's, okay. Ooh, oh, whoo, uh, ah. All right, there you go. Uh, <laughs> do not like. How about open the ones for the outside groups, Moscow, London, America, the day before and make them cumulative and cost 10 times more so they're representative aid assets from far away. Um, the day before. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to make a new line because I have it. I'm going to do this to this. To this. That's not what I should do, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. Um, open them up at the beginning of your Thursday. The, here's the, oh, then what will happen is they'll all get bought on Thursday, and then there won't be any on Friday. Hmm. That's my concern about them going, you know what I mean? Because, so, like, people will buy them. Um, oh, I didn't finish my thought. This is important. So this is why I thought that the um, the radius was really good. Um, and, and I'll tell you, now, like, the, the, the experience that I had doing the radio uh, group challenge was so good that... Give me something. Give me a carriage. Thank you. We have a carriage. This is good. We're going to put this carriage on this blue line over here. We're good. Um, so, oh no! Okay, everyone. Everyone, hello. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to extend this green out to here, using up one of my tunnels, which means I'm going to... I may need to... All right, let me think. Do we have no more lines at the moment? I've got two straight lines that are not loops and that's not efficient. I think what I should do is, I could turn that green line into a really long loop that goes around, extend the blue line across the river to the right. Uh, this one here, extend this one I was thinking we could take this green one up to here, like we could go here. That's two circles in a row, which is not great. And then we could come here and then go here and then go, oops. And then we could maybe do this, right? So if we did that, uh, then we have one loop around the river, one little inner loop here, one big loop and this is still extending all the way out so that might i mean this this loop here could be a little bit oh gosh well oh oh hold on all right okay that's not what i want at all and we're out of lines we need more lines okay okay not great this isn't great so we're going to have to repurpose this blue line and make it different. We're going to take this blue line off completely. And we're going... Okay, that's not great. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, let's move this up. Uh, tunnel side blue loops across river and back up to orange. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so let's... Uh, wait, so I was thinking, like, we go across here... We come up to here. This is going to put a lot of pressure on that one triangle. Uh, but let's see how that goes. I mean, let's see how that goes. I mean, this might... Uh, let's see where we start getting too much pressure. And then we'll see where we need to fix problems. Um, yeah, I, I, okay, I feel like our orange line is now too big for the cars we have, so let's put, yeah, uh, green up, green up to the circle, you should probably put multiple cars or locomotives in that light blue, yeah, yeah, uh, but try to, try, okay, so green up to the circle. Uh, when you say circle, do you mean this circle right here? Can you see it? Do you mean that one? Do you want me to take this green out to this circle here? Give me, give me, give me your thoughts. And I think you're right about another line over here because that one's gonna. Um, yeah, let's let let's see how we're going here because this might be a thing. 
at the moment. Ignore green. Ignore green up the circle. That's an old thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, wait, wait, tell me. All right. So help me see if we can feel what might be more efficient here. Too bad you can't take across the river blue line. Let's see. Too bad you can't take the across the river blue line back across and up to that mega loading orange spot. Do you mean this one right here? This one right there? Um, I could, uh, I could go from here to here, but that's three circles in a row. And when you have multiple circles in a row, they often are super not efficient, but I could do this. Come on, there. What I want is, no, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Um, also, if you have, uh, if, your, if your line is curved like that, the car moves more smoothly. If it's at a sharp angle like that, it, has, it slows down. So it's always better to um, have your line be smooth if you can get it. And I cannot get that line smooth at all. For the life of me, that's terrible. Um, furthest end to orange. Oh, hello. Uh, let's get another line. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so the if I so here's the thing. If I I feel like Coldrick, what you want me to do is take this end here and bring it up to either there or to here. And I can do that, but the problem then is that we get three circles in a row. And when you have multiple things in a row like that, they don't pick up everything. They basically drop, they just fly through the station. Yeah, so that's the, so that's the concern, is that if I have three circles in a row, which is I, I would go circle, 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 that they would not, they would just stop picking up things. But I will link it right now. And um, it's just, it's never really good to have multiple, multiple, um, you want, if, if you can alternate between them, it ends up being much, much better. Um, because they will ba basically, they just won't pick things up. Yeah. Um, I do need, I, th yeah. What I need is a triangle across the river. That is what I need. I need a triangle across the river and I do not currently have it. Um, and our green line's getting a lot of pressure right now. I have a new line, however. So the question becomes, what do I do about this cluster of circles? Like this cluster of circles is a problem. It's bad. It's no good. Uh, I'm going to take this one off because I think it's going to give us some problems. But I can make a new line. And if I make a new line, I might be able to... What if... How do you feel about taking this blue line off this circle, going from here to here, to maybe here to maybe back around here maybe that shape looks terrible uh new line two triangles and middle busy circle so what if i what if i do that like what if i do that Will that give me something? Okay, all right, we, we hold on. We're in a moment. Whoa. Okay, we're in a moment where things are bad. I'm going to pull this car off if I can, and I'm gonna see if I can just place it right here. Uh, and hopefully that will come. Just come, come on, just go, 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 go. Oh. No, we didn't get it in time. We didn't get it in time. We didn't hit a thousand. Oh. Yeah, the green and blue are, were totally overloaded. Uh, and the problem is, the problem is if you have, the problem is too many circles. We want to hit a thousand. This is our goal. If we can hit a thousand, we are good. So I need all of your engineering minds at this moment to see what we can do. All right, we, the, where, the where we are currently placed is um, not great because we, we no longer have any more tunnels. So we need tunnels. So if you notice how this thing works, so this is the thing about how it works. Um, loops are better all because, so so you know how the cars work. So this, I'm pointing and you cannot see it. I'll use my cursor. So this train is on its way up. So if there were, I've got it right now, I've got it fine, 
right? I, I actually have made it worked out, it's fine. If this, if we were not connected to this circle here, right, if we were not connected to that one, and there were um, a circle waiting at this triangle, this car would not pick it up. It wouldn't pick it up until it's on its way back. So it only picks up shapes that are, that are in the direction that it's going. So if we just did, which is why loops are good because then everything's in the direction. So if this circle were not connected and the car's going this way, it wouldn't pick up circles until on the way back. So it's, uh, you have to like, right. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm ending like, I think after this, after this, this round uh, of uh, soul, then we'll end. Gotta focus on making junctions between lines on the shapes you have the least of. Loops are not always ideal. A combination of loops and terminal lines is ideal. Yeah, and the, and that that triangle, uh, yeah, just kills speed. Like you can see that it like, right? If you if you get a line like that, it slows it down. Uh, so yeah, you have to like make sure you get like you have to like balance the loop, because loops are almost always faster. Let's see, let's see. And now please note, I have no. I just got more tunnels. Okay. I just got more tunnels. So this angle is not efficient and I don't like it. Why don't we take this off here? Uh, loops are only faster if you have a balance of trains going both directions. Yes. Which I, I think I had. I think I had them both going directions. You should the game should simulate people who can't ever get the metro station and keep getting on and off. Yes. So let's bring this here. Like it's a right, that's a better shape. But then we need to get this one connected. So let's just do that. Like we have we have no loops, but this might be the the lines are short enough that it might not be too much okay and now we have that yeah mhm mm so we should probably do this so we should probably do extend that out that way we could loop this and it might not be bad yes let's make a loop I thought the aim was to make the prettiest metro line graphic to post in. Maybe, maybe that's what we're here for. And if this gets overloaded, the green line, we can then make the card go in the other direction. But we cannot currently close the other loop. Be I'm pointing, you cannot see what I'm doing. What is wrong with me? Uh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna start getting there. We wanna hit a thousand. This is our goal. Our personal goal is to hit a thousand. And then you all have to help me do that. Adonis Nimbus? Cold Drake, all of y'all, counted on you all to help me. And then once we're done, we will, we will go. All right, we have a new, what we can do? We can get a new line or a new carriage. Line or carriage, everybody, what do we do? Line or carriage, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do we need a line or do we need a carriage? What we need are, are carriage. What we need are more tunnels is what we need. All right. We have one line open, so we can like we could always, uh, yeah. We might if we don't get another tunnel. So one of the things that's really tricky right here is this this square is right in the middle of everything, you know, and everything needs to come through this square, which everything needs like this is gonna be like a really important exchange. Okay, now time to bring it back to color theory. Does the blue green colors work well for graphic design? Oh well. There are people who are like blue-green colorblind, right? And so that would be a problem. I need another train, and here we go. All right. Let's talk about where we're at. Right? Yeah. Let's talk about where we're at right now. We are at a triangle out here. This is a problem because we have two triangles here, and doing too many triangles in a row means a bunch of because basically what happens is that they get they all get filled up fill full up and then the, the the train won't pick the things up so that's that's a problem we also don't have any more tunnels carriage from the triangle to triangle maybe what about what about this here's a thought what about if i 
disconnect this line and bring it here. So we have two triangles here. It's not a loop anymore, but we do have two triangles. Like we don't have three in a row because three triangles in a row is really, really bad. Like that is not good. Um, what about if we... Is that interesting? I also think we should take a line from here to like here and here maybe. Um, can someone give me the nutshell of the shapes? Oh no, they're they're just um, they don't mean anything. It's just that you have to deliver passengers to the shape, right? So like if you notice, uh, Nano down here, this circle shape has got passengers who are triangles and squares. And so the car, the train picks them up and then has to deliver them to a square or a triangle. So you're trying to get the people at the shapes that they're, they're what their destination is. Um, triangle, triangle, top circle with orange. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, on the, on the, on the good one. Um, will, pa yes, passengers will ch change trains. But that does tend to leave a huge... I feel like we need, uh, by the way, another car on this blue line. Let's do that. Uh, but, the, but that does then mean that on those big transfer stations, you're going to get a lot of people all bunched up. So you have to make sure you get enough cars going through transfer stations. Um, yeah. So we've... At, okay. This looks pretty decent, right? It, I mean, this looks like... I mean, oh, okay, okay. The squares are not cool. The triangles are angry and spiky, yes. Uh, changing trains leaves a big waiting mass at the station that has to be drained before it bursts and you lose a life, yes. Okay, I think we need more tunnels. We also need a new line, but I feel like we need new tunnels. Tunnels or line? Okay, I was wondering because uh, orange doesn't go to square but had a bunch of squares. Yeah, as long as there's a connector, they'll, they'll take the connector. Um, that green triangle at the end is all full up. So here's my question to you, everybody. Do we take another line or do we take tunnels? Um, yeah. So do you, 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 I feel like you're saying that we need another, another line or green is backing up. So let's say, let's take another line. Let's take another line and then rework this. Let's let's make a, a loop here and then let's make this orange go across. And then I we have no bananas. Um, okay, is this better? I also feel like we need... Um, another line on the green going the other direction yeah 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 okay so we have two lines right now on the green going in opposite directions in that loop which is good we've got one train on the orange we have two trains on the purple which is not currently looped at all but i think it would do well if it were a loop um and there we go. There we go, people. Another circle. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Well, we're going to have to link it up because we have no more tunnels. Um, let's put let's put a carriage on that on that dark blue line. Do you notice how that that circle just bypassed that first circle and went right straight to the, So that's one of the problems when you have multiple, oh gosh. When you have multiple um, shapes in a row is that they will often just bypass one of them to get to the next one. So then you get trouble um, and it's gonna bypass, okay, so yeah. Right, so here's this problem. Because we have two in a row, it always bypasses that first circle. So that first circle, doesn't get as much um, pressure relief. And um, that's, by the way, it's Sunday, so we're gonna get a new something, but we need to do
do this right now. So here's, this is like one of the problems is that this, that one circle I'm pointing, that one circle, oh, no. Oh, 678 everybody. Uh, the orange line wasn't giving me, backing me up. That was that stupid dark blue line that was giving me trouble. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a nice Zen situation. I enjoyed that. We need to get to a thousand on on that one is what we need to do. That's what we need to do. We need to get to a thousand. Otherwise, my life is sad. Hello, Atomica. We are going to um, no, no, I didn't know. We're, we're ending our stream. First off, soul's good. I like it. Like, it's not good for me. Like, it's hard. But um, what is this? Oh, also, I need to figure out why uh, that's not what I want. It is time to stop. Um, I am. No, I don't want that. Don't want that. I'm looking for uh, exit to menu, I suppose. Like there is a way to figure out where your high score is. And I, I would like to know what it is. Uh, what is mode do? And this is why underground. No. Why underground lines are such a long-term construction job. It can take years to complete and integrate the main flow. Yeah. I like puzzle games. So we need to try. Yeah. Baron Tor, try it. I actually found this one really, really fun. Um, no, no, this is not, uh, this is not Mac. It's just the program itself. Oh, my pleasure. Look, how do I get what I want? How do I get what I want? Play, resume, daily challenge, options, exit. What is this? That's probably not it. Um... What does this do? That's not it. That's, those are, um, look, I just want to know before we go, daily challenge, no options. I know night mode, English, full, medium, audio, color. Oh, there's a colorblind mode. Oh, oh, that's interesting. What, what does it do? Let's, we're going to turn on the colorblind mode because I don't know what it does but we have people who are colorblind and they might, what is this do you think? Um, yeah, I need to figure out, like our display is not right. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you, our display is not right. What is this? Resolution, this is our problem. Our resolution's too high. Let's try that. That's better. We fixed it, everybody. We fixed it. Uh, so, okay, resolution, full screen, night mode. So none of that's there. Guide tutorial. Look, we, we can't, I'm not going. So here's like, oh, hey, look, woo. All right, we'll go back. I'm gonna end the stream and I'm gonna tell you about what I'm doing later tonight because I want to go to the, the right. But, play, resume, daily challenge, options, exit. Play. Ha ha ha! London, oh. What is this? London 1960. Oh, by the way, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It's right down here. We just couldn't see it because our screen was, uh. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So, I. This I want. Because, like, what if we play this game again? I want you to know what's going on. So, our best is 2000 in London. And, because I've got this. This is the thing. So I, my goal is to hit 1,000 all the way through, and then I can come back and try to hit 2,000. So I've hit 1,000 in London and in Paris, New York, Berlin, only just barely. Uh, Melbourne, two grand. Hong Kong was just barely 1,000. Barcelona, I have not done yet. So we have to do Barcelona, by the way, folks. Osaka, I got two, two, two K on, so that was awesome. St. Petersburg was three K, I was doing really well. Stockholm, St. Petersburg, one. Montreal is our best is we got 1,000. San Francisco and Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, we got 1,000. San Francisco, we didn't. We've got to come back to that at some point in time. Seoul, we're not at 1,000. And DC, we've not done yet. So that's that's the thing. This is my personal, my personal goals is that we're going to have to do Barcelona at some point in time. That's it. The ch oh, we have certain challenges, which is good. And then, what is this? This is, uh, 
rankings. Uh, Luck Cake, look at this. Luck Cake has got 20 grand. There's a there's a scoreboard. That's it. Let's let's go here. But mom, but mom. Okay. Um, yes. So that's uh uh. I'm not. Wait wait wait. Epic. What? Who what? Who what? Yeah, it's on Steam. Yeah yeah. This is this is on Steam. Oh, you're talking about a different game, aren't you? If the DC map doesn't have a Pentagon, just blue river. Tap tap tap. Okay, but they didn't do that by skill. They did it by luck. Probably they probably did, but I mean, I think um I think it there's also clearly as as you all by the way I want I'm I thank you all for helping me. There is and also Anubis Nimbus notes. There are things that you can do to make it easier for you to get up there. Like some things are going to be just really bad luck when you get like a lot of triangles in a row. Um, but like figuring out when to have a good loop, um, how to make sure you have your exchanges, maybe some, making some good choices about either getting carriages or new lines, uh, figuring out the best way to place them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, and it has a colorblind mode. So I'm, I'm feeling really good about that. So the next time we do it, we're going to do it in colorblind mode. When are we going to do mini Metro again? I don't know, but mini Metro is great because, uh, I can chat with you all, but I need to figure out what's, what to do with my PS play to get that to work. I think I have to like do stuff. So that's the end of the stream, but, but there's more. Let me tell you where to find me. Tonight. That's a song. Sorry. Uh, tonight. It's, it's actually a doo-wop song from the from the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, tonight, tonight, more than any time before, I need you so till you're in my arms once more. This love of my heart. That's the thrill your heart and vein. Just whisper, shh, I love you. And I'll never tame your place. It's, uh, um, I need to find that song and listen to it again because it's like, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, also from West Side Story. So at least if you fail, the people only grumble and go home. And oxygen required, they all die if you screw up too badly. Oh, wah, wah. Yeah, call Drake. Yeah, I and I have this problem. Any phrase can trigger music. Yeah, it's true. Like, you just say a thing, all of a sudden, like, poof. Song pops in my head, and I was like, oh, there you go. Uh, uh, auction not included. Um, is that on Steam? Is it good? I also have a song that starts with the word tonight, but it goes on to say my hair is like, smells like hotel shampoo. I don't know that one. Origami Shuriken, will you put it in media musings in our Discord? Speaking of Discords, hey, everybody, I have got socials. Um, so I wanted to tell you the next thing, the next place you can find me is tonight tonight um at 8 p.m over at praxagora the smophoria's channel i need to make a command for prax is what i need to do i need a prax command i also need a love laugh lindy command i need a command for all the channels that i'm currently doing stuff on because that'll just make it really easy to just bop that in there let me prax praxagora the sma -oria. I think I spelled that wrong. I did. It's the smophoria, right? It is. Okay. So Praxagora the Smophoria. I'm going to make it I'm gonna Smophoria. Uh Prax. Um yeah, I need I need a command. This is where we can find Prax over here. Um, Prax, I have a question that is like the worst question that I don't want to ask because I'm embarrassed. I have a question to ask you that I'm embarrassed to ask. But I'm going to ask it because you know what? If you don't ask, you don't know. Prax, is it Praxagora the Smophoria or is it Praxagora the Smophoria? That's my question. Uh, that's what I'm going to ask. Is it is it three words or two? Because I feel like it's two. I think it's the Smophoria, right? But what if it's three words? Uh, anyway, tonight on Prax's channel, which I just linked to, at 8 p.m., you can see episode two of The Regiment with a very cool cast, and it's a game designed by uh, Prax herself. She did the hack. She hacked uh, Swordfall Chronicles and also Good Society, so you should definitely watch it. Uh, there's costuming over there, which you cannot see, and um, 
you should watch it. It's like, it's really good. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Praxagora, character in Estopanes play, Thesmophoria, title one of Eris. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got a regimental mystery. I thought it was Thesmophoria. I was like, I think it's Thesmophoria. Uh, Thesmophoria. Thesmo, Thesmo. Thesmophoria, Thesmophoria. Thesmophoria? Thesmophoria. Um, what's the emphasis on that word? How do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce the word? How do you pronounce the word? Uh, I keep, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. The horses don't become last night's in, yeah, yeah. Thespis, thespian. Thesmophoria. 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 Thank you, Prax. Praxagora, Thesmophoria. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, so, tonight, find me there. Uh, next week is our regular schedule uh, of Thursday um, at 6 p.m. Eastern here for Wander Song. And we're like, I feel like we're coming towards the end. Uh, and then Friday, 1 p.m. at Laugh Love Lindy's channel, which I'm going to make a command for that as well. Uh, Aether's Walkway. We couldn't do it today because uh, Grimjack, who's doing the tech, had to go on call for our work, so we couldn't do it, but we'll be doing it next week. Uh, and then Friday night, episode 7. Come on to my house. Come on in my house, my house, come on. Come on in my house, my house, come on. Come on in my house, my house, I'm gonna give you candy. Come on in my house, my house, I'm gonna give you everything. Hey, uh, thank you for that. Um, uh, Pro D M Joey. Uh, Thank you for the host. We're about to go off, so we're going to do a raid. But I was just saying where we could find them. Um, and then, uh, that time, Willoughby, uh, I'm doing well. Yes. Uh, no, but we're we're heading out. Actually, uh, we're gonna we're gonna raid someone. I'm gonna see who's up. Um, then, oh, I wonder if Prax is really good at Pig Latin. I know she taught Latin, but did she also teach Pig Latin? Is my question. Um, it's just my question. Um, wait, wait. Episode 7 of uh, City of Light and Shadow on Friday, and then back to us, hopefully back to Outer Worlds on Saturday. Clearly, we had a, a thing. Uh, the Willoughby counter is like, oh, good, good, because, you know. Um, I had a question that I wanted to say before I left. Uh, pig lessons is when you just teach Latin to pigs, maybe. Um, look, who's live? Who's live that I want to host? I'm looking. Um, and we don't need to host somebody that's got like over a thousand, almost 2,000 people in just chatting. We don't need that. Um, who could we, who could we, who could we raid? I want a good raid. Let's see. Um, question for Prax. Coldrake, ask Prax things because Prax knows stuff. Prax is super smart. Could you write the lyrics to name game in pig Latin in a pig pen cipher? Well, that's a good question. Um, I think at the moment... <gasps> Hey, do you know who's live right now? Do you know who's live right now? Uh, I am Star Letter, and we have not we we have not rated I have I am Star Letter in a really long time. What's going on with my volume? No, stop it. Mute. Okay, there we go. We're gonna rate I am Star Letter. Uh, episode seven is full team. Uh huh. Yeah. So look, everybody, I need to tell you this. Episode seven is full team. Episode 8 is Oscar's solo. Episode 9 is Fox's solo. And we... The goal is to get our secret emote before the solo sessions. Because there are probably going to be secrets that the cast does not need to know about. Just in the same way that... Dot didn't know, didn't need to know why it was that uh, Tango promised those radios away. And uh, Fox didn't need to know what, what those effects of her ex-lover on her kitchen table, what that was about. They didn't need to know that. They just wanted to enjoy the surprise. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So the thing is that there are some secrets that are probably going to happen in those so episodes, episode eight and nine, and they don't need to know it. The cast just needs to not know it. That's all. And so we need a secret emote. Uh, and and Jer has this really cool idea for a secret emote. I'm really excited uh, for him to sort of uh, to work on it because Jer's our our emote person. And um, if it all works out, look, if it all works out, you all are going to be in on the secret or secrets and the cast will not be in on the secrets. And I am thinking uh, that the secrets may last. Some of the secrets might not ever come out is what I'm trying to tell you. There are a couple of secrets that, that might not come out. I mean, they might come out, they might not come out. And I don't, I don't know because it's not like, you know, I don't know if they're going to come out or not. Uh, and if they, if they don't come out, y'all going to be sitting there like me. I just want you all to know that you're going to have this, the torture that I have where I know the secrets and nobody else knows the secrets. And I just have to sit there and, you know, how about adding a spoilers channel to the Colos Discord? Volpez, that's a great idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Yes. Yes. Uh, Volpez, you're brilliant. I have right here. Make Moscow more expensive, 10K. Colos spoilers channel. Dream a little dream. And I have no idea what this is. It looks like okay person stream i have no idea what that means uh, there was just this random random thing and i oh, oh and don't let the players in it <gasps> Bopez. can i do that oh 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 if i can figure out a way to make a spoilers channel and not let the players in that's what i'm gonna do yeah yeah because here's the thing, I'm not going to spill the beans until they come out, but they're going to, they're, it's going to come out at least for you all. There are like a couple secrets that are running around that, you know, you know, uh, got that feeling with the game. A friend runs over on house party Saturdays. Me and him have plot and I just can't wait till the reveal. Adonis Nimbus, you know what I'm talking about. You know. Okay, good. If I, good. Well then if I can do that, I will make sure that they can't see it. And then we can talk about it once, once it happens. Okay, so there's no accidental spoiling. I, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna figure this out and work it out, but um, we're gonna raid. That's our raid command. I did it. Did I do it? I did. That's our raid command. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna raid Starletter because Starletter's awesome and we haven't seen Starletter in a while and I wanna give Starletter some love. So, yes, yes. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna raid. We're gonna start this raid, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for like, thank you for indulging me in a the fact that we switched over to Mini Metro rather than uh, the, the the PS4 game, and also that you let me re-sing the song J'attendrai because I was just not happy enough, and so now we have it. Um, so take care, everybody. We're gonna do our raid, and um, I'll catch you all on the flip side. And you know, oh yeah, and right, I forgot. We have a Discord. Join me on the Discord if you like. Um, we we have it, right? The socials. Join me on the Discord. Um, we have the thing there. And um, also, you can follow me on Twitter at Academic Foxhole. We have a Patreon, Academic Foxhole, for the show, uh, for the RPGs. And then also, you can find the archive of all the stuff on YouTube at Trooper SJP. And that's all the stuff. We're going. Raid! Raid!